Hello and welcome to the Town Hall 12 Cup Finals. 296 teams entered this single elimination bracket tournament and we are now down to just four. My name is Barney and I'm your desk host for today and on my left I have two very familiar faces. It is of course Woody and Bash. Howdy y'all and welcome to the stream. We've got $60,000 in store for the winner of this tournament. The biggest, burliest bases are about to get bashed in. Who's gonna win it all, Bash? That's right, Woody. Over 200 teams entered this tournament. We're down to the final four. We're gonna have Team Queso going up against 11 Original, WHF going up against Nova, and this is gonna be a best of one. And then they're gonna move on to the grand finals, which is a best of three. Winner takes all, $60,000 on the line, guys. Huge prize pool. I'm so excited. It is time to meet our first two semi-finalists. It is 11 Original going up against Team Queso. <laughs> En esta ocasión nos hemos preparado bastante más que en las copas de los otros ayuntamientos, puesto que es el ayuntamiento que más nos gusta y en el que tenemos pensado ganar. I think our biggest strength is that we uh, know each other so well and because we have been playing together for so long and some real friendships uh, develop between us and we don't only uh, play Clash of Clans together but we, we hang out and we meet up in Germany. Uh, so I think we have a very, very good atmosphere in our team and everybody's motivated to win. Fuego! Eh, bueno, yo creo que nuestro fuerte son ambos, la, la defensa y el ataque, puesto que en la defensa la preparamos bastante con nuestro diseñador Bacons y el ataque solemos compenetrarnos bastante bien. Tenemos los diseños prácticamente estudiados para los jugadores contra los que vamos a enfrentar, así que esperemos esa sea nuestra mayor estrategia, el defender muy bien en este torneo. So let's get right into it and check out this semi-final bracket. Up first, 11 Original versus Team Queso. You might recognize a few of the faces in this matchup. Team Queso third place at the World Finals. 11 Original bringing a few of the members from Tribe Gaming that also were in the semifinals. That's right, Woody. We have uh, some familiar faces on 11 Original. We got Eve Cali coming out, leading the team, the team captain. And then over on Team Queso, we have Rigo Torres. Uh, huge performance at the World Championship, securing that third place for Team Queso. What an exciting matchup, almost a rematch of that third and fourth place match in a, in a way. That's right. That means that 11 Original is going to be out for revenge, while Team Queso is going to prove that that win was no fluke at all. These two teams had to go up against some monster matches in those early rounds to get here today, and they're going to be working hard to keep that spot. It is certainly going to be a grudge match. So. Let's just get straight into our first semi-final. It's 11 Original against Team Queso. 11 Original defeated One Hive, one of the most impressive teams that's been here to the qualifiers before. On the other side, Team Queso defeated Orcs GP in their qualifier match to make it here today. That's right, Woody. Tons of great teams. We've seen One Hive win some of these ESL Open matches and win the whole thing. So the, the bracket was absolutely tough for these teams. But we're going to see Fed coming in on this first attack. Queen Charge Lalo's looking like that is what Team Queso is known for. So we'll see how this Queen's going to kind of work into the base and get these balloons working around. Fed is a 24-year-old psychology student from Argentina, and he said Lava Loon is his favorite army composition. He's going to be bringing in that heavy aerial assault to this first attack. What you got to keep in mind is 50% damage earns the first star, destroying that large blue building. The Town Hall earns another star, and the third star is earned only if you destroy every building on the map. That's right, Woody. 100% destruction for three stars, and we'll see that making a huge difference. But we see this queen taking a lot of damage, and those healers kind of lagging behind. The king down there on the bottom just to keep the queen pushing inside the base as she works on that gold storage. King's ability getting popped, so she's going to go right up in, take out that town hall, pull out the clan castle troops, and just get some of those important structures down. The clan that earns the most stars throughout their five attacks will advance to the grand finals if we get a star 
draw, it'll come down to that overall damage percentage. They want to earn as many buildings destroyed as possible. A nice poison spell there is going to grab Fed's uh, enemy CC, knocking down all of those troops there. Archer Queen locks onto the Town Hall and takes it down for the first star, finishing off the enemy Witch in tow. A very nice poison spell, very nice freeze to get that enemy clan castle down. Now we're going to see the enemy queen being attacked. That's very important on the Lalo. You want to get that enemy queen down or else she will just take balloons down left and right. So now we're going to see the Lalo phase coming in. Woody from the top side. We got those lava hounds coming in. Balloons in behind. We'll see the Grand Warden follow them around. Giving that life aura, giving these balloons a little bit of a health boost. A leisurely queen charge into the center of the base there, grabs the first star and follows up for the second soon after, but that queen has gone down, and that's gonna leave Fed a little bit short on offense now. He's charging in with the Lava Loon and adds on a Stone Slammer. There's the big Grand Warden Eternal Tome, protecting all the troops within that radius. They don't take any damage when that ability is activated, and boy, did he really need it there. Moving into the last side of the base, he finishes off that Eagle Artillery, but can he knock down this final multi-target Inferno? Last haste coming in, Woody. Oh my goodness, those balloons are getting taken out by those last two air defenses. Can these final balloons push through? I'm not sure. Two air defenses plus a multi-inferno wizard tower. A lot of defenses up, so we'll see this run up the percentage points and go for a high percentage two-star here from Fed. That multi-target inferno is absolute doom, but these balloons can dish out a ton of damage. It's just a question of whether they can get to their target fast enough. Fed's getting awfully close here, knocks down an air defense. He still has another one on the backside, and this multi-target inferno is burning these balloons up. They are getting popped down left and right, and that's going to be the end of the raid. A mid-90s percentage, but the Inferno Tower stands, and Eve Kali's defenses will hold on to that last star. A very impressive 93% two-star, but that last Inferno Tower proving to be just a bit too much for Fed, but still a very nice Queen Charge Lalo to start us off. High percentage two-star, definitely what you want to see. If you can't get that 100% destruction, you want to get as high a percent as possible. Fed is well known for never giving up in these attacks, always putting in that extra bit of effort to squeeze out another percentage or two. 93% is definitely above average at this level of play, so that puts Queso on a nice uh, standing from their first hit, but 11 Original could come back with the first three star of the match here and now to pull ahead. Let's it's going to be up to Volley to make it happen. Let's see if Volley can respond, possibly put up a three star and pull ahead early. We got Eve Maxi over the shoulder spotting. That's what you love to see. So let's see what Volley's going to come in here with a pretty high percentage. But if he gets triple here, 11 Original is going to pull ahead. So it looks like we have another Lalo attack. Uh, probably a little bit of a hero dive here with uh, three Lava Hounds, tons of balloons coming in. We'll see those heroes push into the center of this base and try to get some of those objectives. King working out right there. We got a wall break. A lot of interesting stuff going on here, Woody. Vale is a 20-year-old German, one of the original gangsters of the 11 original squad. He loves playing dragons, but this time he'll keep to the skies with a different army comp. That Lava Loon worked wonders for Fed. Can it pull off an even bigger upset for Vale now? He considers his team to be the underdogs in this matchup. His A squad, Tribe Gaming, actually dropped in the qualifying round, uh, and so they had to mix it up a bit and go with their other squad, 11 original. They might still be able to prove that they're the best at Town Hall 12. You know what I just realized, Woody? He's got two clone spells in here, so we're going to most likely see this blip come in, and then we're going to see an Electron. We're going to see an Electro Dragon and some balloons come out, clone up the balloons, take out the enemy queen, take out that Eagle Artillery. This is one of my favorite attacks to see. Here it comes, guys. Rage spell going in, poison on that queen, clone spells down to see all those balloons go oh. Look at all that destruction in the center of the base, getting the sweepers down, getting the enemy queen down, getting that Eagle Artillery down. The value from that Electron was huge. A ton of balloons swirling around this base, gutting out the center of it, but Vale has used almost all of his spells in that early stab. He doesn't have a star yet, but he's getting awfully close now, moving in with the remainder of his troops over on the left side of the base. He's got the Grand Warden in sky mode, protecting those balloons as long as he can, holding onto that ability, probably going to use it as those balloons path over the town hall. You definitely want to protect him from that Gigabomb, otherwise they're going to take a massive amount of damage. Still have balloons, Lava Hounds in the back pocket, still have that Grand Warden ability as it gets popped right there as the balloons are over the Town Hall. The Electro Dragon is still up from the Clan Castle troops. Balloons taking down the Town Hall. We still have balloons. We still have hay spells. Tons of cleanup on this one. This one's looking pretty good from Valley. A super strong attack. And take a look at that new Jolly Santa 
Barbarian King skin. He got knocked out nice and early, and Vale is already celebrating, confident that this balloon parade is going to turn into three stars. There's hardly any defenses left in this base, and 11 Original is looking to tear it up with the very first three star of this Town Hall 12 Cup. The first triple from 11 Original with the Electron. Oh my goodness, that was so exciting to see what he, a very nice three star from Vale. What an incredible start for 11 Original, going up three stars to two after the first matchup. Wow, that was incredible, guys. What an impressive attack. The Electron coming in here. Rage spell down, poison to slow down that queen, poison to take out the clan castle troops. Clone spells, rage is so much stuff going on. Huge value from that Electron, and that E drag stays up through the rest of the attack as well, Woody. Unstoppable destruction through the core of this base. That Electron play was so clutch. The first stage of that attack going off swimmingly, and the follow-up was perfect as well. It's going to take a lot from Metro, the 18-year-old Costa Rican student from Team Queso, to follow it up and return fire. Can he get it done with another Lava Loon hit? I'm noticing a lot of aerial attacks here today, Bash. Air is very strong, and when you see some of the top players, they tend to favor the Lava Loon attacks, especially Team Queso. They are known for their Lava Loons with the multiple layer wall breaks, which I think we're going to see here as we have six wall breakers in the comp. First wall opened up. We have the Clan Castle Archers coming out. Poison Spell going to go down. We also have a Lava Hound behind them. But we're going to see this Queen try to get deep inside this base. That's why we have six Wall Breakers. We'll see exactly how those come in as that King's clearing out that left side. Metro is devoting a lot of spell storage space to help this Queen charge out, but she can get maximum value by knocking down air defenses, air sweepers, and multi-target infernos. I think that the enemy Queen is pretty deep into the base, would be difficult to reach her, but he's going to get a lot of value up on top, maybe even claiming the Town Hall early on here. That's right, Woody, but you do notice he has the jump spell in there, just in case he ah. needs to jump towards it. Oh, the Queen walks nice. out! The Queen walks out towards the Town Hall. That is going to hurt this walk a little bit. We'll see if he can get her back on track and push her back inside the base, but that could be rough. And here comes that jump spell to try to push that Queen back inside. Oh, I did notice that he used a balloon to catch a Seeking Air Mine in the interior compartment there. That's going to protect his healers a little bit longer and give that Queen the extra healing that she needs to charge into the core of this base. Both Air Sweepers are starting to fire away at the Stone Slammer. The balloon's now moving over on the right side. We don't have any... Uh, more big troops to deploy just a little bit of cleanup afterwards. So keep an eye on the Stone Slammer. That's that big red balloon up on the top of the map, taking a ton of fire from this Archer Queen. What's his plan to deal with her? I think the plan was the Queen walk, but we'll have to see what is in that Stone Slammer because if there's nothing in that Stone Slammer to deal with the Queen, you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble because that enemy Queen will take some huge, huge shots at these balloons, take them down relatively quickly as all of the Lava Pups are going oh, down. No. Now the Grand Warden is going down, Woody. Oh my goodness. That is just absolute devastation for Metruo. That Archer Queen dishes out a ton of damage and pops balloons left and right, chopping through this attack so quickly. Finally, his Archer Queen's about to get hit her way into the base, drops a freeze on the enemy Queen just to make sure that she goes down nice and quick. No more spells to use, no more troops, no more hero abilities left. It's all up to the cleanup troops to get the job done here, passing that 90% mark with over 38 seconds left. Can this Archer Queen get the job done? I think we're going to be a little bit short on time as there's tons of walls and that multi-inferno is going to burn up those cleanup well, troops. She only has to crack through one layer of wall. But she's taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure, Woody, it's close. The wizard oh. tower taking out the cleanup troops. I don't oh. know, Woody, this. The queen's going down right here. There we go at 97% two star. Just quite, not quite enough. The queen walk going around hurting that. That attack, oh my goodness, that was, that was so emotional. What a roller coaster there. Up and down, coming back but not quite finishing off the base. So close, but close only applies in horseshoes and hand grenades. Clash of Clans is an unforgiving art. If you only get that 97%, that's still an entire star left on the map, and Team Queso is gonna be behind after their first couple of attacks. Time to try to put the nail in the coffin. It's up to Eve Timo, the baby on the team, the 19-year-old German loves playing on the ground. He says hog riders are his favorite troop, whether it's a queen charge hog rider or a suey mass hog attack, and it looks like this time it's gonna be Sui Mass Hogs, 
39 of them in this attack. That is a ton of Hog Riders. You also see the two skeleton spells, so we'll most likely see those deployed mid-attack to help take down that enemy Archer Queen as we have the King kind of working around here. Just going to work on some of these objectives on the outside of the base, but Teemo can really pull 11 original ahead here. If he gets a three-star, it's going to be hard for Queso to come back with just three attacks. Barbarian King chopping away. I got to say, those antlers, even if they don't deal any additional damage, they look pretty menacing. I wouldn't want to be a defensive structure getting bashed on by that Barb King. That's right, and we see the enemy the enemy King kind of holding up the Archer Queen. Gonna try to get that multi-inferno out, get that bomb tower. Bomb towers and multi-infernos can really deal some huge damage to some hogs. Uh, popping the Queen's ability right there. I'm kind of concerned about the clan castle troops here. We'll have to see what's in there. Maybe taking a little bit of risk, maybe hoping there's a Lava Hound in there. Maybe poison the Archers and then kind of let the Lava Hound just kind of hang out. We'll see how this works out for Teemo as those hogs are deployed from the bottom of the base. First heal spell going in. Timo has already caught a couple of giant bombs, but he's going to soak a big hit on that bottom corner. Fortunately for him, though, he's running that heal spell that's able to top those hogs off and keep them nice and healthy. Look out, though, that clan castle has got a big dragon inside and no way to take it down. Timo's in a ton of trouble right now. Those defending troops are just going to wail away on his hog riders. I'm not feeling too confident about this hit so far, Bash. This, uh, that was what I was worried about, Woody. The, the enemy clan castle with the dragon in there is absolutely devastating to the hog attack. The enemy Queen not quite down yet. She looks like she's close, but oh, she's no. taking out the archers, the, or the skeletons rather. They finally get her down, but that dragon is still up. I do notice the Stone Slammer. Here it comes. Stone Slammer going to come in to secure the town hall. So looking like we're going to have a two star. Uh, depending on what's in that clan castle, that dragon is just doing work on these troops on the outside of the base. Those hogs are trying to stay up, but the dragon punishing with those shots. Let's see if what's in the Stone Slammer after this town hall goes down. We're going to probably have that pop open shortly with the air defense. There we go, air defense. More hogs coming out, and that dragon's coming to punish those hogs. Earns the second star, but Timo now facing uh, maybe the lowest overall damage percentage of any attack that we've seen so far. Going to give Team Queso a little bit of breathing room now if they can catch up uh, with another attack. But yeah, that dragon in the clan castle was definitely the clutch move on defense there. Al Mullen, uh, setting up his defenses perfectly to address a hog rider attack. That poison spell, not enough to kill uh, the dragon there. And the skeleton spells, though they worked really well against the Archer Queen, they can't hit anything that's flying above them, and uh, the dragon dealt with them very quickly. That's right, Woody. And having the dragon kind of help in taking out those skeletons really hurt the attack. 77% two-star from Teemo. Team Queso being granted a breath of fresh air. Luckily, only going down five stars to four right now for 11 original. That's right. What a close matchup we have here. These two teams going at it. We're going to have Rigo Torres coming up, known for those Queen Charge Laloons. We'll see what Rigo comes out with on his first attack. 11 original is now missing 23% overall damage, while Queso is missing only 10%. That's going to give Queso the advantage on that overall destruction, but behind a star, they still need to put another uh, triple up on the board if they want to move ahead of our German foes. That's right, Woody. And we're going to see the, the Queen Walk Laloon, just as I figured. Ringo Torres is a beast with the Queen Walk Laloon. We'll see here the Enemy King kind of working a little bit close to the Queen, so can't really deploy those healers, or else they might switch off to the King. But it looks like he's just going to walk right in towards that Town Hall. Just try to get out the Clan Castle, try to get out the Queen. No jump spells, no wall breakers in this one, so it'll be interesting. Queen might go south here. This Oh, she goes back. Oh, that could have been devastating, Woody. If that queen goes south there, that's going to really hurt the attack. Sometimes she zigs and sometimes she zags. This time, the captain of Team Queso, Rigo Torres 23, is going to get what he wanted out of that Archer Queen, moving up toward that Town Hall to get the first star easy. After that, he's just got to worry about cleanup. Stone Slammer is going to go down, popping out a dragon and some balloons. That'll be enough to take down the enemy Archer Queen. But hold on, wait! I might have spoke too soon. A tornado trap drags them all away, and the Archer Queen survives. Bad news for Rigo Torres as she can dish out maximum damage to enemy flying troops. The balloon's soaring in now, but can they survive the massive blast about to land on them? What a huge shot, Woody. Not getting that enemy queen down is going to hurt as he kind of started his Lalo phase from the other side of the base. Looks like his queen should be able to get the town hall, get close to oh, it at least. There she goes. She's working on the town hall. This is close. Pops her ability. Oh my goodness, this one has so much going on. The eagle artillery going down, but we still have those sweepers pushing the balloons back. Plenty of, plenty of troops still up. I guess I spoke too soon there. The balloons <laughs> kind of getting taken out. I was, I was looking at the haste spell, Woody. Unfortunately, ineffective with no balloons to speed through there. 
Yeah, still a big chunk of this base has been chewed apart. Rigo Torres uh, losing his Archer Queen uh, very shortly here. She's taken a ton of fire from Wizard Towers, Mortars, and Archer uh, Towers. Those healers doing their best to keep her just barely alive, but finally she's going down. Rigo Torres, a 19-year-old student and YouTuber from Mexico, might want to check out his channel if you want to get some pro tips on how to make these sorts of attacks go off well. He says that communication is key to Queso's victory, and that's what he's going to have to focus on in the next two attacks from his clan, trying to catch up to 11 Originals' star performance from Vale. That's right, and the frustration on Rigo's face here, he, not quite what he wanted, looking for the enemy queen to go down by the dragon. They still have some really nice percentage on these attacks, but they still need a three star at some point, unless 11 original really has something go wrong here. So, oh, that was a rough attack to see. That tornado trap was clutch to keep the queen up. Keeping their average destruction above that 90% mark, though, Team Queso is definitely still in it. They need to get uh, fortunate on defenses and hope that they can hold up uh, against Eve Kale. He's the captain of this 11 original team. The 26-year-old German also loves playing Hog Riders. He says that his skill is in detailed planning. And I got to tell you, I took a, put a peek into the 11 original war room. They have got so many notes on every single base, the exact deploy order of every troop. Let's see if they can pull it off this time with 11 dragons. We're gonna see that drag bat coming in. Bat bomb right here on that Inferno Tower. The bats are gonna work through, try to get out some of these defensive structures. You see that ice golem tanking the wizard tower. One shot from the wizard tower could drop those bats, but with that ice golem there, the bats are gonna get huge value taking out that whole section of the base. Oh my goodness, Woody, what a bat bomb right there to start off this attack. Yeah, nice beginning here. You'll notice that the dragons, although they're also flying up in the sky, do not target enemy uh, defensive buildings the same way that those balloons do. That means that you can expect a big sweep through this base, destroying every structure along the way. Kale getting a little bit of funneling done uh, with his first dragon and baby dragon up at the two o'clock position, just taking out a few of those uh, uh, defensive structures on the outer edge. But here comes the main phase of the attack. Dragons soaring in from the skies and a Grand Warden to protect them. That life aura boosts their hit points and gives them a bit more oomph to charge in. That's right, Woody, and these dragons are gonna work through this top side of the base. Looks like he's gonna reserve that Stone Slammer to take out the Town Hall at the proper time. Eagle Artillery going down as that Grand Warden pops his Eternal Tome to keep those e those dragons up through the middle of the space. We got a multi-inferno taking a lot of damage on him. Balloon seeking, checking out for those seeking air mines, and here comes that Stone Slammer to take down the Town Hall. Very reliable way to take down the enemy Town Hall. He's gonna get it right on top. Waiting for that first drop though, that Air Sweeper pushing it back and delaying the hit just a little bit. We see that Free Spell going off, and that's gonna get the Stone Slammer another shot at the Town Hall. Balloons to finish it off for the two-star. Eve Kala hoping that he can claim the three. A few more uh, defensive buildings he's gotta worry about on the bottom side though. That Tesla farm can dish out a ton of damage, and these dragons are just going so slow. Yeah, that's what that's the downside of the dragons. They take out every single building and we saw that seeking air mine take down a dragon but still has the queen's ability still has a few dragons up we see that queen pop might her still ability. have this this is close woody this is super close the tesla farm down there with the archer tower and cannon might be too much we'll have to see i don't think it's going to get there but it's so close Three Tesla start zapping away that Grand Warden's toking a ton of shots. That's really good for Kale. That Warden has stayed healthy throughout this entire raid. It might the get Dragons there. And Archer Queens are it might go, in. Woody. Pump it might go. And pounding the Woody. table. Eleven three original. Star. That's another wow. three star on the books. The Dragon taking for the Queen there, proving me absolutely wrong. What an incredible attack there from Kale. Wow, that was amazing. The second three star for Eleven Original so far. Out of three matchups, it is super, super good for them so far. Wow. Almost impossible for Team Queso to come back at this point. They would need back-to-back -back three stars just to tie 11 original on that point. And then they would need epic defenses against their German opponents. Eve Kale in stellar fashion, knocking down that town hall and claiming the rest of those buildings with Plenty of time to spare. Plenty of time. I was worried about that queen. She had little health there. But that dragon got out in front, tanked all those Teslas, tanked those Archer Towers, and he, he was able to get through for the three star. Wow. Very, very impressive from 11 original there. Next up, we've got Al Molin, a 24-year-old engineering student from Spain. He loves using lots of different attack strategies, but Hog Riders are his favorite of all. He's going to be bringing them in this time with a Queen Charge. Those five healers keep her topped off to walk through the base. 
He's going to find a couple of Teslas in the bottom side here as he starts to funnel uh, his troops in. Now these Hog Riders will target onto enemy defensive buildings, so you got to make sure uh, that they're all staying relatively clumped up together. They want to take advantage of that heal spell to stay topped off because they can take a massive amount uh, of damage from splash structures like the Wizard Tower, like the multi-target Inferno. That's right, Woody, and we're going to see a wall break come in here. We have six wall breakers to support this Queen Charge. We're hopefully going to push up into that Town Hall, I would imagine. Get out the uh, enemy clan castle and just work through here. I would, I'm really curious to see where these hogs are coming in. We got 26 hog riders, might even pull out the, the clan castle here with the hog riders, and that's exactly Ooh, wow. what we see. Lots of archers, we got 10 archers and a lot of hound coming out, those hogs clearing out. Looks like the queen is breaking in on her own, not waiting for a wall breaker, and she's gonna go ahead and make her way into the middle of the base to take out these archers and the lava hound. Snags the CC, but also manages to use that rage spell on the healers to keep the queen topped off to deal more damage, and also the hog riders to knock down that inferno tower sitting right next to the town hall. A beautiful entry point here for Almolin, but we're already a minute and 20 seconds into this attack. We need to see phase two starting very soon, or else Almolin could be in a position where he's gonna time out. I don't think he anticipated the queen going in quite there. Might have wanted to move her in a little bit higher in the base. As you see, he has that earthquake. Most of the time you're gonna use that earthquake to activate the town hall if you're not quite at 50%. So I don't think that he really anticipated the queen going in there and you see him wall break her out and move her into the next section of the base, trying to open up this compartment with the stone slammer so she can reach that multi-target inferno tower. Almolin is highly motivated to move on here. He's a world traveler and enjoys playing football, tennis, and having parties. He's going to be trying to grab that $60,000 grand prize for his team to keep the party going. These Hog Riders making their move onto the top right side of the base. They're going to soak a massive giant bomb, forcing that Grand Warden Eternal Tome to protect them as they move on to the second phase of this attack. That Barbarian King can dish out a ton of damage, though. That's why he's going to have to use that Freeze spell to keep him on ice. The hogs, tons of hogs working through there. We still have the queen up. She did take out that enemy queen. We had hog riders pulling out of the stone slammer. Lots of hogs kind of scattered through this base. 30 seconds though, that queen walk taking a little bit too long, maybe a little bit longer than anticipated when she kind of broke into the base on her own. Now she's stuck on another wall, Woody. Speaking of scatter, I'm not looking forward to using hog attacks against the scatter shot. New defensive building coming in the next town hall, hopefully very soon. That scatter shot looks incredible. <laughs> the splash damage against packs of hogs. But look at this, oh, this is so devastating. 10 seconds left on the attack, gonna oh. get everything down but just a little too, oh my goodness, a little bit too long on that walk and not able to clean up the base. Uh, still a very solid 92% two star, but that uh, that might be a bit too much there for Queso to come back from. Yep, a beautiful entry point, but couldn't get the follow up there. Stage two going a bit too slow. You get a ton of damage from those hog riders, but they need time to sweep through that base. 92% keeps up that super high destruction average, but Okay, so just a little bit short of that three star that they need to get back in this match. That's right, Woody. We're gonna have Eve Flossie coming in next. Look like we got a little bit of a Sui Lalo here. Eve Flossie could really put this away, secure the victory with a three star, really a two star, but secure this victory for 11 originals. So we'll see what, how he goes in here. Looks like the hero's gonna dive right in towards the town hall here. Does find the Tesla farm up there. Those Tesla farms, when you put all five Teslas in the same area, they can really be devastating to, to some troops. So it's really important to get those out early. That way you don't have to deal with them later. Flossie is a 20-year-old Swiss player from 11 Original, and he said Sui La Loon is his favorite attack strategy. His teammates are gonna let him use his favorite hit style uh, against this base. He's gonna drop that poison so that the archers walk straight through it. Uh-oh. They kind of uh, swept along the top side of that poison. It looks like he might have gotten a miss with that spell. Nevertheless, he's not worried about that. He's going to continue his attack over on the left side of this base. Balloons moving in, but they're going awfully slow. I expect to see her haste spell. There it is, going down to get them right onto the town hall and protect those balloons with the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome. They're still looking fine going into this base, Bash. And that's exactly what we see there. The balloons getting through there. We saw that earthquake come in to activate the town hall. Activates with any kind of damage. So that earthquake's going to do 25% damage. Activate it, and we're going to see those balloons push through. And you're right, those archers kind of zigged when he thought they were going to zag, but they moved. They look like they got taken out on the top side. 48, 49%, this one's yeah. really close, but he's yeah, still getting is... secure with the two star. This one still may be out of reach, but man, this one was close, wow. Barely a two star with the Archer Queen and enemy Eagle Artillery still up and firing. 
Uh, this attack just kind of withered away and fell apart before Flossie even got uh, to the second half of this base. Still, 11 Original sitting on a two-star advantage. It's going to hold on tight now. Eve Flossie uh, keeping pace against Team Queso now. Didn't get what he was looking for, but it's okay. They're going to hold on and claps all around on the 11 Original side. They're happy uh, to keep their lead against Team Queso. Although hey. that was a two-star, it was still a very huge attack for 11 Original. Maybe E. Flossie came in just a little bit too complacent, but 11 Original still maintaining a two-star lead going into the final bracket. That's right, we get the last attacks coming in from both teams. Really need to see that three-star from Queso here, Woody. Yeah, they've got to get a three-star and then hope that their defenses can hold up for just a one-star uh, against the final attacker from 11 Original, Eve Maxi. If not, they are down and out of the competition. But if someone can score a three-star in the clutch moment, it's got to be Michael DP, the 24-year-old student from Chile. Loves his P.E.K.K.A.s, but he decided that an air attack is still going to be the best way to knock this base down. He'll go on long walks by the beach with his queen, and that's what he's going to be doing this time. Those healers are going to keep her topped off. Expect to see her charging into that 7 or 8 o'clock position as she makes her way toward that enemy town hall, maybe knocking down an uh, air defense and the enemy CC along the way. Woody, did you see that bomb taking out the wall breakers there? That might push, oh, bombs right there. That no. might push the queen towards the top side of the base. He definitely wanted her to go in towards that town hall compartment, pull out the clan castle, take out the town hall, work towards the enemy queen, but kind of had to think on his feet here and he's doing pretty well getting those compartments open. He does have that inferno compartment open, which is gonna lead him towards the enemy queen, towards the eagle artillery. So he can still get some huge value as long as the queen follows the path into the base. Here. That was a huge wall section to open up over on the left side there. He's not gonna have access to another archer tower, the multi-target, two air sweepers, and that town hall. The question is whether or not this queen can survive to make that attack happen. The Seeking Air Mine takes down another healer, and she is not looking too healthy Oh at all. my goodness, the queen goes down, Woody! Devastation for Michael DP as his first stab at this base is not going to get rewarded the way he was expecting. The enemy Archer Queen and Eagle Artillery both standing and Eve Maxi is rubbing his hands. Happy to see the defenses holding up this time. This one's going to be very hard to get through here with that enemy Queen, Eagle Artillery, all those defenses in the center of this base. We'll see if Michael can bounce back and get the triple here. It's gonna be tough, an uphill battle, but that's never stopped any of these players before. They're gonna put their all into this attack with such a huge prize pool on the line. Grand Warden protecting the balloons as they float over this base, but pop, 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 they're going down. That Archer Queen will not be denied. Michael DP drops that Eternal Tome, but it's just a matter of time before these balloons are gonna be falling down to the earth crashing and burning the multi-target inferno, destroying these loons. The last stage of this attack is just a matter of how much damage he can claim. That's right, Woody, and unfortunately, man, th these queen walks just not quite going the way they want them to. Getting the enemy queen being an issue, enemy queen picking off the balloons. This one's gonna be another high two star, and this is pretty much gonna be secured for 11 original. They're just gonna need a one star on this final attack from Maxi. Michael DP's minions claiming some additional cleanup along the outer edge. That's going to maybe even keep them ahead on the overall destruction percentage. Bodes well for their future prospects, but not necessarily in this match. Unable to get the, that uh, three-star that they really needed to keep pace against 11 Original. On the other side, though, 11 Original with a 50% hit rate so far could go really far in this match. We expected Queso having defeated uh, most of these 11 Original uh, players in the bronze match over at Worlds to have picked up the win, but it looks like 11 Original will be moving on after all. That's right, Woody. So a very, like, really good percentage from Queso, but just not quite able, like you said, not quite able to get that three star there. So they're going to finish at 10 stars. 11 Original already at 10 stars. So one more star, kind of going to put things away. We're going to see the captain, not necessarily the captain, Eve Maxi coming in, the anchor I meant to say there, <laughs> Woody. The anchor, Eve Maxi coming in for the final attack from 11 Original. Eve Maxi is the grandpa on the team. The 29-year-old German says Eve is life. This was his first foray into the Clash of Clans competitive scene, and he does not forget his home team. He's gonna be fighting hard to push that advantage. All he needs is one star here, but you know he's gonna be working for all three. He says experience and team spirit among the Eve guys is what's gonna propel them to victory. They have certainly got it in, stro in, in droves. <laughs> That's right, Woody. Uh, so we're gonna see another Queen Charge Laloon attack coming in here. Queen's gonna work right in towards that clan castle and 
or not the clay castle, rather the town hall, my apologies. Uh, so she's going to get right in there. She's going to have access as those walls are kind of going to open up for her. We're going to have the archers and Lava Hound come in to hold her up just a little bit. Doesn't need a ton from this attack, but you, like you said, these players are going to give it their all. They're not going to just go for the casual one star. He's going for the three star here. It's all about pride on these final attacks. Let's see if Maxi can get in here, take out that town hall, take out the enemy queen, and pull off the triple. Three members from 11 original, Vale, Kale and Eve Maxi all cited Team Queso as their number one nemesis that they wanted to take down. Having lost it in that world, they finally have gotten their revenge. Eve Maxi with that first star will secure victory for 11 Original and ensure their advancement to the grand finals. That Archer Queen charge along the top side of the base will continue her path of destruction, getting a wall break into that next compartment, maybe to reach that enemy Eagle and enemy Archer Queen. He's going to have access to the Eagle and the Queen here, which is huge on any balloon attack. We've seen that being an issue on previous attacks, but being able to get that queen down, we'll probably see her ability getting popped here. There we go, ability get popped, and we'll see the balloons come in and try to clean this up and go for that three star. Lots of, lots of base left, but also still a huge balloon phase coming through with the Lalo. So here comes the Lava Hounds, the balloons working through the bottom side. Stone Slimmer working on that multi, trying to get it taken out, but those Teslas kind of holding things up. Queen Walk still going strong there, seeking Airmine, taking down a healer. But first Hound Pops working through the base here, Woody. And the, oh, the Queen taking out that ground expo. Balloons headed towards that Inferno. Got to get that Inferno down fast. Stone Slammer bought the farm, but the Teslas have been eliminated. Eve Maxi continuing his assault at this base, looking very good here. A multi-target Inferno gonna get frozen up to protect these balloons on their last path. We're gonna see that Grand Warden Eternal Tome, but these balloons are going a bit slow. We need that final haste spell to, for Maxi Woody, to drop. Woody, this is looking really good here. He's, He's got it, through I the think. last part of the base. Queen's still walking. Haste spell to get those balloons through those last few defenses. Plenty of cleanup troops. 30 seconds here. Eve Maxi gonna finish with the three star. 11 original coming out super strong in their first matchup. Oh my goodness, wow. What a very nice attack here from Maxi. The queen charged Laloon to clean this base up. High fives all around and pats on the back for Eve Maxi. A 60% hit rate for 11 original and the Germans are on a massive stare <laughs> through this base. Congratulations to them moving on to the Grand Finals. 11 original will be moving on to the Grand Finals for the chance to win that $60,000 and the Town Hall 12 Cup. What an incredible performance. You could hear them behind us screaming their heads off after that win. Three, three stars out of the five. What do we think, guys? They came out super strong there. Three triples out of the five. Very impressive attacks. Maxi here with that final, oh my goodness, the final push through that base with that last haste. Wow, what an impressive performance from 11 Original. Definitely what you want to see in your first matchup. 13 stars, Woody, that's impressive. Domination on both offense with a 60% hit rate and on defense not getting a single triple on their bases. They took a ton of hits and 92% average destruction from Queso, but not a single one of them knocked them down. 11 original are looking strong and ready to claim the crown and the $60,000 that goes along with it. Yes, what a great start for them on the first day. Wow, what an impressive one. What an impressive war all around. We're going to go ahead and kick over to Barney for an interview with 11 Original. Thanks so much, Bash. I'm joined by Eve Maxi in the corner. 11 Original, what an incredible performance against Team Queso. How would you feel? Oh, we feel amazing and so relieved. Like we, we came in as the underdog. We didn't think that, uh, that, we didn't think that it would be uh, that uh, clear of, an, uh, of a result. And we're so happy that our bases stood still, that uh, the defense is so important in this format. And we, we have so many great uh, base builders and testers in 11 Original that helped us, especially Eve Vision, whose bases defended like crazy. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're really proud. Like Team Queso, they are so strong. We, we were really scared against them because we know they can triple any base. And yeah, it was amazing. We're, I think we're just so happy. I think your face just says it all, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> Vale taking home a three star in his first match. I mean, that was hugely important. Did that let you guys get a bit more comfortable throughout that match, or did you still push for all the three stars you could get? Oh, uh, well, both at the same time. We, we, we gained a lot of confidence, but we knew that we still had to go for three stars. After Timo's fail, which was really unlucky because he faced a damage CC and couldn't get it down with his uh, poison spell, um, we were a little behind on percentage, but still close enough. 
But when they didn't triple, we knew that we had to play for save two stars. And uh, we did that, and uh, yeah, even with a little more in the end. Well, you had, did an amazing job, and congratulations for getting through to the grand finals to play for $60,000 and the Town Hall 12 Cup. I'm going to throw you over to Judo now, yes. who's at the Telestrator to break down the match. Brilliant attacks from start to finish. 11 original getting the job done. And this attack by Vale is what kicked it all off for them. And what a brilliant job it was. Uses the balloon and baby dragons to create a funnel on the left hand side for his queen to directly target the multi inferno. That's all he wants from his queen. Meanwhile, he can send the king down the opposite side. I love the use of the king to set the funnel over on this side because there is a a huge gap in the base, in between the defenses, the storages. That is a common place for Tesla farms. Vale recognizes that, uses the king to set the funnel on that side, and has already taken out a beautiful chunk of the base. Giant bombs go off in that area. We can see them in between Tesla farms a lot, but now is where it gets even better. Often with an electron attack, you might decide to use the slammer. However, uses the blimp to ensure he gets directly in between all of the defenses. And I love the staggered use of the clone spells. Sends the balloons left and right to take out everything in the center of that base and he now has a beautiful path for the lava loon up and around the base so from there it's all about timing it's all about the deployment of the loons keeping them on track through the center and reinforcing to the buildings on the outside just one free spell used onto the town hall knows that he can pop the grand warden's ability early because the tornado trap had already been deployed uses it to get through the giga tesla and the giga bomb and it means he can save the haste spells very wisely for the back end of the base managing to get Get down, gets a fortunate split to both of the splash damage buildings, but had a couple of balloons in the bag anyway. So got it in style. From start to finish, every phase went perfect. They move into the final, but who is going to be joining them? We're going to dive right into it. It's Nova versus WHF. <laughs> The way that we prepared for this tournament is uh, we figured that defense would be the most important part of this tournament, so we focused a lot on base building and friendly challenges to prepare. The atmosphere on our team is really laid back. We all just like to hang out and have fun together. The thing I like the most about the Clash of Clans events is it gives us and uh, other people an opportunity to travel to places that they haven't been before. So our next two semi-finalists are no strangers to the main stage. I'm now joined by Carbon Finn and Bash. How are you doing, mate? You good? Thank you, Barney. It's great to be here. What an epic match, that first one. 11 original taking that one. But now we have the second semi-finals, where WHF is taking on Nova. That's right, Carbon. It's going to be a huge map up. We have Wei, the final MVP at the World Championships, leading Team Nova against WHF. And for WHF, we have the leader, Lex Noss. He is one of the attackers that is clutch. He attacks in the end of the wars. You can count on him to go for the three stars when it's needed the most for WHF. This is going to be an intense matchup. These two clans have a little bit of history leading into this matchup. I'm so excited. That first match, super exciting. Can Nova and WHF bring that same excitement to this match? Oh, We'll find out. We will. The builds are prepped. The troops are ready. And it is time for our second semi-final match of the Town Hall 12 Cup. It's Nova taking on WHF. 
we have an epic match for the second semifinals. Remember, it's just the best of one. And if you win this war, you advance to the grand finals, which is a best of three. And now we have Nick. He loves to lead off for WHF. He's going to be the first attacker. And it looks like he's coming in with a drag bat here, Bash. That's right, the drag bat. We got 10 dragons. We got bat spells, seven bat spells, a couple freezes in there. Going to start off with the Archer Queen working through this base. Uh, Nick loving his air attack leading us off with an impressive drag. I'm really curious about this one, if he's going to use that bat wave or kind of a bat bomb through this base. We'll have to kind of watch and monitor how that one kind of plays out, Carbon. We'll have to see. Is the queen going to walk into this wizard tower or is she going to go up to this gold mine? It looks like she's going to continue to go there, but that there is the air defense on the bottom side. If she can continue to get through there, plus the enemy queen king can get a ton of value so that the actual dragons don't get stalled up. But hopefully this lava hound does not go across the base and these dragons will get stuck on it. That's right. The a queen did come back a little bit. Set a nice funnel for those dragons to push in towards the town hall. Oh, that lava hound is dangerously close to those dragons. Those dragons could pop that lava hound as it comes right in front of all those dragons. Exactly what he didn't want to see. And here comes that bat bomb carbon at the bottom of the base, working on the multi inferno, working on the wizard tower, and getting tons and tons of value with those seven bat spells. Beautiful use of that ice goal on the bottom side. The bats are moving through here, but the queen, unfortunately, she was supposed to be responsible for the top side air defense. As long as if he has enough dragons up here, there is this wizard tower. If it could take down this wizard tower with the bats, it doesn't oh. look like it. He's shaking his head there. Uh, he's going to try to get as much percentage for that queen. Unfortunately, she wrapped back around inside this base here, Bash. Yeah, she did not get that Archer Tower. Unfortunate, but does have a dragon getting some damage on it. Still has quite a few dragons, but it's going to be hard getting towards that last air defense as it is picking off dragons one by one, dealing massive damage to those air units. Wow, that dragon right there on the left side, not too much health. We'll have to see how much health these bottom ones have. Oh, it's unfortunate that that queen did not continue to go down the path that he planned, but he had to adjust on the fly, and those dragons had to take out that enemy, a lava hound, which really slowed them down, plus those pups that came out, and he wasn't able to have that push. It was a very nice try. Still going to be in the high mid-80s here. If he's going to try to get a little bit more percentage, the minion doesn't look like it's going to be able to get through this cannon after this dragon does go down. It looks like Nick's going to finish off with the first attack for an 86% two-star. A little bit of disappointment in his face there, as you mentioned. Wanted that queen to walk towards that air defense, and that really that really cost him the attack there as those dragons just got picked off left and right from that final air defense. Just not quite enough to get through it. Next up, we're going to have XC coming in from Nova for their first attack. XC is going to be looking to try to answer the call from what WHF did with the two stars. So if Nova can get a three star, they'll be in a huge lead with their final. They'll have the final attack, which is also a big advantage in this situation. Huge advantage to finish off the war, especially if you could start off hot here. So we'll have to see how XC comes in. Well, it looks like we're going to have our first P.E.K.K.A. Smash of the Day, Carbon, a really popular attack right now in the meta of Clash Clans. We're going to see a Grand Warden walk, which this Grand Warden is going to be able to reach in there, pick off that Inferno Tower, and then we're going to see that kind of match up with these P.E.K.K.A.s, with the bowlers, and push through the base. Exactly. He would love to get that multi-target Inferno that is behind the walls there, and then he can start with the bowlers to charge right towards the Town Hall, but you have to be very patient. You have to wear it. Oh, time. That's the big issue with these types of raids. If you don't start the rest of the raid in time, you're going to run into those time fails. That's right. This ward a massive range, but not quite as much damage as the queen. So he's super effective at reaching those structures that are a little bit out of range of the queen, but it is a little bit slower. So like you mentioned, that time going to be an issue here as we see that Grand Warden walk in. Is he going to turn over to the Multi Inferno? He should turn to the Multi Inferno next after taking down this cannon. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't Wait, look whoa. like he's going that way. Oh, now my the goodness. Healers, the healers are getting hit by this Multi. Which direction he's going to go? Is he going to continue to go for this air defense next? But these healers are going down really fast here, Bash. That's right. I don't think that was anticipated oh. at all. I think he definitely wanted to get that Multi wow. Inferno on. First jump going in. Having to use a freeze to keep those healers up. You don't want your healers going down on a pack of Smash. 
Oh my goodness, that is devastating. The Inferno burning up those healers again, Carbon. He's losing the healers really quickly. He's hoping they can get out of range, but Oh no. my goodness. He lost all but one of the healers now, so he's going to try to charge through this space. Still has a Stone Slammer and another jump spell, but out comes a Defending Lava Hound, which is going to slow up the Queen quite a bit. A Tornado Trap is spinning the bowlers around. Remember, you have to push through, get this Town Hall to secure the two stars, but there's the second jump. Can the Pekkas and the Queen eventually make it over to the Town Hall there? Those Lava Pups are holding everything up. The double Inferno burn up all of those bowlers so fast. Those Infernos can be lethal. Not getting uh -oh. down that bottom Inferno really cost him. Oh my goodness, is the Queen going to get uh -oh. the Town Hall? It doesn't look like know. it, Carmen. Wow! Is he going to change to a battle blimp? He does. He's got to send this directly into the town hall. He sends a bunch of balloons. He needs to get the 50%. One to get the first star, and the second star will come from the town hall, but this is also a really low percent. Let's see, he drops the haste there. Some air skellies. Is the town hall going to go down? It does go down for the... Can he get the second star? 49. He has the percent, but... Oh my yeah. goodness, Garvin! Barely wow. getting there. Wow! Just a two-star. Barely 51% right there. Those healers really cost that raid there by going down. Yes, the, not getting that Inferno out from the Grand Warden was crazy. Wow. Right the way down to the wire for Nova. That was a nerve-wracking start. Two stars apiece. Two stars, but WHF has the huge percentage lead there. That was almost a devastating attack, but XC did a great job of saving the two stars, switching to the Battle Blimp. I love that you're able to switch between your sieges, and we saw that become a huge factor in this attack to secure the two star and take that Town Hall down, Carbon. Yeah, you have to be able to adjust on the fly, and that's exactly what he did with the Battle Blimp. But now we have Nicholas of WHF. What is he going to come in with? What can he plan? Let's see, I'm going to be curious. He's coming in with, looks like a Queen Charge Lalo attack. And he's going to have to drop some balloons up top. Maybe the queen as well. He has actually a handful of balloons to maybe set this funnel. And has the king on this left side. He's going to look like charge right into this air defense with a wall wrecker. Bringing a wall wrecker in. Wow. A little bit of a surprise there. We don't see that too much these days. But the wall wrecker is going to pound right through those walls. It's going to take three shots to get through those walls. But once it does, uh -oh. it's going to open up huge compartments. Queen getting distracted by skeletons. Oh, with the clay castle troops pulling her back in. Wall Wrecker still going towards the Town Hall. Wow. Wow. He's going back in. Looks like he's got a double Ice Golem balloon out of his clan castle just to help support that queen. The double Ice Golem is going to freeze those defenses for a short time. Yeah, he was able to now take care of this clan castle here, taking care of the Lava Hound with the pups inside the poison. He's making a beautiful charge into this base. If the queen walks left, she can actually take out this Town Hall and another jump gets the Eagle Artillery. This is a ton of... But hopefully these healers... Oh, no! They transfer off to the Ice Golem on the top side. He wanted these healers to stay on the Queen. The Town Hall looks to be going down, but he won't be able to get to the enemy Queen because of the firepower without these healers, Bash. That's right. You hate seeing that, but it does happen that Ice Golem stealing a couple of the healers so the Queen having to make do pop her ability, but she's still going strong through this base. Got the Town Hall down, getting the Eagle Artillery down, raging up those two remaining healers to keep that Queen up as those two bows are punishing this Archer Queen. Now he's got the Queen, and he might have to use a freeze. He does on the enemy Queen, and he gets the value with the Queen going down. Can he now lolo the back end around here? The Ice Golem is actually now cross tanking on the top side if he ends up finishing up there, which is going to be beautiful. Now this Queen is actually still alive. She's going to go down to the enemy King down south. But if he can get this Lalo to move around, this is looking really good, Bash. Carbon, we're seeing the most OP Ice Golem walk up there on the top side of the base as the Balloons and Lava Hound working through the wow. bottom side. Still got plenty to keep them up. Still has the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome, which will grant them immunity for a short period of time. Haste spells, free spells, plenty of cleanup troops. This is looking pretty good for Nicholas. We'll see how he finishes here. He uses the free spell, still has the Grand Warden Eternal Tome. Where is he going to pop this? He pops it right there, but unfortunately, it looks like he's avoiding this multi-target Inferno. The Ice Golem is continuing to tank for these defenses, including the two Teslas. Is he going to have potentially enough balloons to make it through this next section? Oh, it looks like the Ice Golem does go down. But this multi-target Inferno and the Grand Warden platform are going to be a little bit too much to get through here. That was devastating. The balloons pathing around that multi-Inferno, and that is never good. 
the multi infernos will eat up your troops. So a little unfortunate on the pathing, but still a super high percentage here on the two star. So WHF still going to be way out in front as far as percent goes. Just a little unfortunate pathing on the balloons there from Nicholas. What a strong start to that attack. Just a little bit of unluck missed there at the end. Yeah, unfortunately those healers transferring off to the ice golem. That's one of the risks that you have to take if you put. You want to try to have those ice golems tank all those expos in the core so that the queen doesn't take too much fire. But he got the two a very high percent, and that's given him a solid lead over Nova at the moment. That's right. A huge percentage attacks on those first two. But can Nova respond with this next attack? If they get a three star, they could pull in front really, really well here. ND going to come in for Nova for their second attack. We'll see how they respond to that queen charge Lalo from WHF. Yeah, we're going to see what Nova has in store. Now they know they're down by quite a bit of percentage, so they might have to take a little bit more risks to try to go for those triples and try to get a star advantage at this point. But he's coming in with a drag bat. We saw one come in earlier from WHF. Now Nova is answering with one of their own, using the King Desui over to the left side to run all the way down. And let's see where this queen goes. Maybe continue to walk left. That air defense is actually walkable there behind the storage. But which direction is the queen going to go is the question. Looks like she might walk left unless she does walk oh, right. Man. Not, I don't know she if she may still come back. We'll no, see. This is going to be a question. Where is she going to go? She Tesla. Can, oh, my does goodness. Does not Marvin. go for the ADs, Bash. Leaving up two air defenses that I think he anticipated getting down. That is devastating. Still has his huge dragon face, eight dragons, two electro dragons. Has that bat bomb still in his pocket. But wow, that queen going the wrong way. Really devastating on this attack. I think he was anticipating getting both of those air defenses down, which would have helped out that bat, the dragon attack as the bats are coming in on this top side. Exactly. You can see he's dropping the bats now on the left side. If the bats were able to clear this left side, the queen could have cleared the air defenses on the right. The dragons would have had no ADs inside the core to get through, and they would have been able to overpower this. Now the king is also pulling out the enemy lava hound. And oh, the no. Dragon, the dragons are going to get stuck on it right over the town hall as well. Wow, Carbon, the Lava Hound out of the clan castle on these dragon attacks is going to slow them down. The Eternal Tome gets popped right there from the Grand Warden to keep everything up. So not a huge devastation there, but I think we're going to see those two bottom air defenses play a huge factor on the back end of this attack as they're already picking off dragons left and right. Enemy Queen picking off dragons as well. Yeah, the dragons are trying to charge their way through, but... These air defenses are just firing upon them so much damage here. The dragons are getting quite a bit of value actually on the top side. Tesla farm up at 12, but it doesn't look like this air defenses down here are going to go down and they're going to be getting hit with the dragons and it's going to be probably in the mid 80% here with the stone slammer still has these balloons that are going to come out and the dragons are trying to get as much percentage with a baby dragon there. So he's going to try to add a little bit more percentage for Nova right here. So devastating from ND, the queen going the wrong way, perhaps costing him the attack there. I mean, if yep. he gets those two air defenses out, Carbon, he got all but one air defense out with the bat bomb on the top side. He would have had a nice path through the center of the base. Just a little bit of bad luck there as that queen took a left turn, a right turn when she should have went left. Yeah, those small differences make or break the attack. And if he saw that queen going left, that was the whole plan right there to get those two ADs because he saw those were on the outside. Those were vulnerable to the queen, but unfortunately he was not able to get it. But he still turned this into a high percent to start in the 90s. Still a really solid attack from Nova. So many twists and turns in this second semi-final between Nova and WHF, but still with the percentage difference heavily in favor of WHF. That's right, WHF putting up those great percentage points. A little bit of bad luck there for Nova, but the e drags and Dragons right through the middle of this base were very strong, but we saw those bottom two air defenses. Wow, could you imagine if those went down, Carbon, how different that attack would have went? Oh, that, d that attack would have been completely different. These Dragons would not have been hit by the air defenses, plus that Wizard Tower would have went down, but hey, it's what happened still was, it wasn't a three, but Nova still has a chance, but now it's going to be Hex coming in for WHF. We're going to see what he's going to come in with. It looks like a Queen Charge Hog attack does have one Earthquake to be kind of insurance here to make sure that Town Hall does activate. That's right, Carbon. You want to make sure if you're not going to get to that 50% or if you think it's close, you want to go ahead and use that one spell slot to 
just make sure you wake up that Town Hall so your Hog Riders can go ahead and take it out. This could be still anyone's matchup as we're tied up at 4-4. Four to four Percentage in favor of WHF as this Queen Walk starting in here. King working towards the bottom just to ensure that funnel. And we have the Stone Slammer coming in early on this attack, Carmen. Oh, very nice timing with that Stone Slammer to open up the walls. The Queen might have to pop her ability. Wait a second. He holds, and now he can take out the enemy Queen and get a ton of value through here. As long as this Queen's going to charge in, two Ice Golems are going to tank. He's going to try to keep these healers on to the Queen. We saw it before with the healers transferred off for Nicholas's tech, but this is a ton of value here. That Eagle Artillery, the top side multi-target Inferno, we're going to have to see which way this Queen's going to path. Carbon the King just pulled out the Clan Council troops. We got a Lava Hound, a Balloon, a few Archers in there. So definitely wouldn't want to take care of the Archers and the Balloon at minimum for the Hog Riders. Hog Riders can kind of be okay with the Lava Hound following them around because the Lava Hound itself doesn't do a ton of damage as those Lava Pups that you really want to worry about. Queen getting a huge value as she pushes into this section of the base, taking out the uh, Ground Bow right there, working through, getting towards that Multi Inferno but she could pop that Lava Hound heart, Carbon. This could be huge. Yeah, now what's gonna happen is these healers are gonna get picked off by the multi-target Inferno, and the Queen's gonna pop the Hound. It looks like does actually have a poison. Here comes the Hog Riders. He wants to target directly onto this Town Hall, but unfortunately, he does pop the Hound. There is still an enemy balloon, so he has to poison that. He has one free spell, two heals. Does drop the Earthquake. Let's see, he needs to at least lock up this two-star, but he does find Oh no, the Tornado! It's going to slow down. This balloon does go down. He's going to have to pop this Grand War Internal Tome right over the Town Hall. Oh my goodness, that was emotional. I thought the balloon was going to catch those hogs right there in that tornado trap, but the balloon goes down due to the poison. Not too many pups following the hogs around. They might have enough to get through here. Going to work towards running up the percentage points and see if he can finish this one off for a three, sir. Hogs being chased by those lava pups. Still multi-infernos, still bomb towers, still wizard towers up. Lots of damage on the back end of this base here for Hex. Yeah, he really wanted that queen to stay up and continue to take out the top side. But unfortunately, the queen went down, the Lava Hound slowed her down, and then the healers got picked off. And he doesn't, he can't clean up the bottom side because there is that one archer tower. So he's trying to grab as much percentage as possible. It looks like he's going to be in the mid, trying to get close to an 80% here. But these Lava Pups are going to pick off the final wizard and archer here. And it looks like it's only just going to be around a 76% two star for Hex and WHF right here. Wow, the back and forth between these two clans. This match is truly anyone's matchup still. Great attacks from both sides, just a little bit of miscues from those heroes. Next up, we're going to have Nova coming in, seeing if they can respond to that two-star. LP going in from Nova has that World Championship experience, Carbon. Yeah, LP does have that World Championship experience. They did win the World Championship, so they're using that experience to try to take this and the $60,000 Town Hall 12 Cup. Can Nova have a chance? They want to try to get this triple here on Nicholas's base. Let's see if he can hold up a defense, but uses the Queen to charge into this Town Hall. And then Bash, we're seeing some Electric Dragon. Carbon, I don't know if you remember, but Electro Dragons played a huge factor yep. into the World Championships. And we're seeing that Queen Charge E-Drag attack come in here. This will be very interesting. LP finding a base he liked for the E-Drags and going to see if he can get some great Chain Lightning. Remember those E-Dragons, when they fire a shot, if there is a building close enough, that Chain Lightning is going to bounce and do more and more damage to each structure, up to five structures, Carbon. Yeah, the E-Drags can get a ton of value. You don't typically have so many kind of planned with E-Dragons because you think they're going to come in with, let's say, Queen Charge Hogs, Queen Charge Lalas, but they, want, they can attack with any army in the game, and that's exactly why they are world champion there at Nova. But LP is going to try to get all this value here. He has an air defense. He has a sweeper, two exos, and the enemy queen down here. They can reach over the wall. Let's see if he can take this down. And then the E-Drag's coming from the top side. Wow, that wall breaker barely got in there. I thought the giant bomb was going to take it out, but the wall breaker does get through. Queen! Whoa. Oh my goodness, the queen goes down there. I thought she was going to wow. stay up. Queen goes down. We have the E-Drags coming in from the top side. One star already secured here. E-Drags should have enough to get through to secure that two star. But will they have enough to push through for the three star with four free spells in this attack? Grand Warden's Eternal Tome keeping E-Drags up through the Eagle Artillery shot right there. And then the Stone Slam are going to push them down to the rest of the base. Imagine if this Queen was still up. Look at all these E-Dragons trying to get some Chain Valley. He has a handful of E-Dragons. He finds a Tornado Trap, gets spun up a little bit, but there's this back end, two air defenses, and Tesla Farm. 
if he can try to get some chain value, but the enemy queen is actually still alive, which is going to be huge on defense for Nicholas. Oh my goodness, the enemy queen picking off the E-drag right there. Not quite enough health to get that final shot. We do have a baby dragon, but the baby dragon does not get the queen down either. Wow, the back and forth of these attacks is absolutely crazy, Carbon. I can't believe this. These teams trading blows, and these attacks are so close, just not quite getting there. Yeah, it is neck and neck. Two stars apiece for each one. Whoever is going to be getting the triple is going to set themselves apart. Remember, you don't have to win on percent. You just have to win by the stars. And can one of these clans here do it? It's going to be close. We're going to have to see as much percent as LP can get. The final E-Drag does go down, has the last mi the mini gets that final Elixir Collector and finishes off the attack with an 87% two-star. It is all about the percentage difference right now. So LP getting as much as he can up all the way to the end of that match with 87%. Wow, this E-Dragon attack, I thought it was going to get there, Carmen, but wow, they soaked up so many traps, took a lot of damage. That sweeper was huge right here, pushing those E-Drags back so they couldn't quite get there. And then finally not being able to get that enemy queen down was devastating to that E-Drag phase of that attack. Yeah, now we have Ghost of WHF. Ghost is a recent join of WHF, and he actually built 13 of the 15 bases wow. they're going to potentially be using in this competition here at the Town Hall 12 Cup. So he is a master base builder. He's coming in now with that Grand Warden walk, it looks like, with that P.E.K.K.A. Smash. I love seeing this attack. Let's see if we can have that Grand Warden do what he wants it to, because we saw last time, not quite the way it was anticipated. So we're going to get a nice little funnel to try to push that Grand Warden right in towards that multi-inferno. Very impressive stats there, Carbon. 13 out of 15 bases built by Ghost. That is a wow. I, I can't wrap my head around that. That's crazy. I know. I am no base builder. I don't know how he does it and helped them get to this point right now. And we're going to see what, how much value that this Grand Warden can get. We saw from the first attack from Nova, they were trying to pick off that multi target in front of with the Grand Warden. Drops the Rage. It looks like the Grand Warden has an avenue to take that multi-target Inferno down. And then look at this alley that he's creating to get the P.E.K.K.A.s and the Bullers. But hopefully he doesn't drop too many P.E.K.K.A.s. What's going to happen is this Grand Warden is going to get pulled off and not going to Oh, no, Inferno. Carbon! That's right. The Grand Warden going over and acting as a support unit as too many troops kind of drawing his attention over there as they work towards the Town Hall. Jump Spell comes in. Didn't quite get to that multi-Inferno. Wow, that is twice now we've seen Grand Warden not quite get all that they were anticipating. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome does get popped right there to secure the two-star, make sure that those bowlers are going to stay up. Lava Hound pops, lots of damage being dealt as those bows and Infernos are just raining down damage on his troops. Ghosts under fire. Yeah, unfortunately, he dropped the P.E.K.K.A.s really early there. He has a few Wizards for cleanup and the Stone Slammer, but now he has to get into the 50%, but this is what Nova's been looking for. They need a low percent two-star to try to get back in that percentage game. But let's see, the Queen does go down there, trying to take down the Eagle Artillery, which is going to be a ton of value. Here comes the Stone Slammer. He looks like he's going to get the two-star to lock that up, but he needs some more percentage here, Bash. He needs a ton of percentage. The Stone Slammer is going to get a quite a bit Still got a little bit of support units there. We got a haste spell. Most likely going to see the balloons coming out of that clan castle. So that will allow for some cleanup on the back end. But that stone slammer under fire from that air defense. Free spell deployed to make sure the stone slammer goes up and gets a little bit more value. Gets that multi inferno down. And there we go. We see the balloons coming out and the, we'll see cleanup. But the, the devastating fact there, Carbon, we have an archer tower and a mortar on the top side of this base. Exactly. He's not able to get as much cleanup as possible because of the outside defenses, but I think those P.E.K.K.A.s were dropped a little bit too early, and he was worried about time, and unfortunately the Grand Warden did not go for that multi-target Inferno, which then picked off the healers, and there was the Lava Hound. So if you're trying to defend an attack just like this, where the Queen gets charged into the core of the base, a Lava Hound does a great job at defending because it slows that Queen up, keeps her behind all the units, which then causes the healers to stay back, and then they don't heal up the bowlers and P.E.K.K.A.s in the core. So both teams now with a somewhat lower percentage to start. Wow, this can be anyone's match heading into these final attacks. This is incredible. I cannot believe all of the drama going on. We're going to have High coming in from Nova on this next attack. Can Nova respond? A three-star here, Garvin, would be huge. Uh, it would be ginormous if he was able to do that for Nova because 
There's only one attacker left for WHF, and Nova has two attacks to go in. They know they are down right now on the percentage. Let's see if they can try to bring it back. The next attack is going to be the Queen Charge Lalo. He doesn't have any wall breakers. He doesn't have any jumps, so that means He's either just going to walk the Queen up to the Town Hall, or he's going to use a Stone Slammer to help try to break her into the base. I, I agree with that. It seems like he's going to push her up towards the Town Hall, get that value, because he can pull the Clan Castle troops out and maybe even possibly reach that enemy Queen just from being on the outside of that wall right there, Carbon. So a huge value from this Queen Walk, potentially. If she can stay alive, she's taking a ton of damage, yeah. Carbon. Has wow. to pop the oh, ability no. really early. She's going into the wall. the wall. That is not what he wanted. There no. is no way that is what he wanted there, Carmen. That is not what he's playing. He thought the queen was going to continue to go up, get to the town hall, and the queen on the top side. But now the queen's going down. He's going to have to completely adjust on the fly here. The king's going to get taken out really quickly by these defenses and the archers. But now the lava hound will eventually fly over to the queen, slow her down, pops ability, and the town hall does activate through the barbarians. Let's see, the healers are now getting hit. He can't reach that multi-target Infernal Bash. Carbon, there is, this is going sideways quickly. That Town Hall is activated. The King not quite getting there. The enemy, the enemy troops just absolutely roasting that King, help, holding him up. That Town Hall barely has any health. The healers are gonna go down right here from that multi Inferno. Oh. And the Queen could potentially pop the Hound. I don't think she's going to. She's gonna go down right here. Gonna hasten a few balloons to secure the Town Hall. Now looking to secure that two star, needing about 18 more percent to get to 50 percent. A lot of troops left on this one, though. This attack is by far from over. We'll see how this plays out. Yeah, these defenses have been, been a huge trouble, and for both sides, no one has yet to get the three star. But he still has the enemy queen up in the core of the space. There is the haze at the bottom at six o'clock. The grand warden is going to be flying through. He's going to try to pop the grand warden tunnel tome and the rage right over the top of the queen. There it is. There's the freeze, and he's going to try to have any pups to go for that enemy queen to take her down. Look at all these balloons still up with a beautiful Grand Warrior Eternal Tome through the core. The devastating thing here with Carbon, he only brought one Lava Hound, so not so many pups on this attack. So that enemy queen is going to be able to shoot down those balloons left and uh -oh. right. He may clear the defenses here, but that enemy queen is going to be devastating as she's chasing around the Grand Warden. This could be close. I think not so much cleanup is going to hurt this one here. Yeah. He's still up. Wow, this is craziness, Carbon. These attacks back and forth, the base building so impressive from these teams. It absolutely has been. And the Queen stays up in the core and not going to be able to take the enemy Queen down. And he really wanted to have that Queen go up to the Town Hall, get all that value. And he knows, unfortunately, it was looking pretty good, but the balloons kind of split there. But with that Queen in the core doing a massive amount of damage, but Look at the percentage here. They're trying to inch it back right now at 86. He can try to grab as much percentage as possible. About 15 seconds left in the raid. He's going to use every single second of it. They are on some storages. Look at that. 87. Can he get close to a 90? Finishing up on the Builder Hut for the 88%. Gets the two-star there from Nova. And this is a neck-and-neck -neck battle right here inching their way ever closer to potentially going through to the Grand Finals as Ghost, unfortunately, putting up that 66% damage and now High with an 87% damage. These attacks are absolutely critical. The last two attacks, Lex knows coming in from WHF, perhaps the biggest attack of his Clash of Clans career right here. Let's see what he's gonna bring to the table, Carmen. The final attack for WHF going in right here. Lex is going to be trying to clutch it for WHF. Can he do it? He's done it before in many different situations. If anyone you were to call on, this is the man to try to do it. Uses the king up here at the top side, and he's coming in, looks like, with a Sui Lalo. One of his favorite attacks here. Carbon, I was just looking at the percentage points. Look how close this match is. Wow. 63.2, 63.8, WHF slightly in front. These two match, yes. these two attacks are for the match, guys. This is crazy critical attack. I'm, I'm freaking out, guys. I cannot handle this pressure. I cannot imagine the pressure from these last two attackers. I cannot imagine either. He's focused. He's calm. He's looking at exactly what he's trying to do. The balloons are going to come in and grab this archer tower on the outside, plus the king will grab that archer tower. He doesn't have any wall breakers, but he does have a jump spell, which maybe he's going to try to set this funnel and jump the queen into the town hall here. But we have to keep our eye on the time. We have about two minutes and five, or close to five seconds here. Can he get the queen and get the value? There's the jump. He's going to jump over the town hall. He can also reach the sweepers as well, but hang on here. There are a clan castle. Hope he doesn't get slowed up by it right there. 
Yeah, absolutely. Clan Castle troops could get pulled after this town hall goes down. A very unique jump right there, just jumping over that one segment of walls just to ensure we get the town hall down here to work through the rest of this phase with massive amounts of balloons. 34 balloons. It's going to be a balloon parade, Carbon. Let's see if it's going to be enough. Yeah, he does pop that queen ability nice and early because out comes the Lava Hound. Can he take out this air defense over on the right side? A few shots. It should go down, and it does. That's a ton of value, and there are a few expos that are set to ground on this base. So now he's flying in and around this base. Doesn't have any skeletons, so that means he has to have something in the Stone Slammer to help take care of this enemy queen. I'm not sure, Carbon. There's a lot of balloons around there. I don't think that Stone Slammer... Stone Slammer oh. gets popped! What a great play! He manually opens up the Stone Slammer, so the E-Dragon comes out. The E-Dragon gonna take down the enemy queen! That is huge for this attack for Light Stuff. Great play there, opening up the Stone Slammer. Balloons getting down the Sweeper. Oh my goodness, Carbon. Can he push through the rest of this base? Six minions still for cleanup. Plenty of cleanup troops. Can he get down these last att last defenses? Oh, it doesn't look like the multi-target Inferno is still up on the top side here. And he's shaking his head. Unfortunately, he needs to get as much percent. But he can't move this Lava Hound. It looks like the E-Dragons and Pups are going to move to this Lava Hound. And then he's not going to be able to get it. So Nova is now looking to get a higher percent two-star. And they can take the war. This is absolutely ridiculous, Carbon. I cannot... I can't handle this. This is too much. WHF does have that slight lead. That is not much of a no. lead. That's a few percentage yes. points. So D Nova's going to be looking to just improve a little bit above what most likely going to be an 80% here, close to 80% attack. As time's going to run out, most likely 78% two-star. Roughly, the E-Drag is trying to pick off the rest of these Lava Pups. Try to move over to the Clan Castle, but just not enough time. Finishes up with a 79% two-star for WHF, and now it comes into the hands of Nova. Can they get enough percentage with the two-star to advance to the grand finals? Wow, Carbon, this is this is so intense. Th these teams are back and forth. The rivalry heating up here. But watch this play, manually popping open the Stone Slammer here so that Electro Dragon's going to pop out and take down that queen. So she's just not going to follow those balloons around because she's going to get KO'd from the E-Dragon. Nova gearing up for their final attack. This is for, to move on to the Grand Finals, this attack is all or nothing. Yep. Way the World Championship MVP as that anchor spot for Nova. The World Championship MVP, just what you said, unbelievable. If anyone was to do it, he is going to try to help push Nova to that final spot to try to play 11 original. Can they do it? Because that will be a best of three. These are only a best of one match. And if you win this, you move on. And if you lose, you are out. That is right, Carbon. It is a winner take all format way going in against Lexnos, the captains for the final match. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of a Queen Walk Dragon attack here from Way. This will be interesting. We haven't really seen a Queen Walk Dragon. We've seen a lot of some drag bats, maybe even a Queen, dra queen Walk E Drags. But not just Queen Walk Dragons. Yeah, the Queen hopefully is going to try to grab a lot of percent, including this Town Hall. And he's going to look to see where everything goes. The King's going to take care of some of these archers. And let's take a look at the path that this Queen's going to make. It looks like she might walk right into this Town Hall to the left side. And there's the balloon to test for some Seeking Air Mines. Finds one with the balloon and drops these healers. The Queen is walking all weird right now. But let's see, there's the enemy King. Doesn't look to be going down because of the Barbarians right there. But he does have a poison right on top of this Lava Hound. That's right, Lava Hound pops right there, but the poison to help slow down those pups and take them out. We do have the King doing some damage to those Barbarians. Skeleton Trap, that Queen's gonna be held up there for a few moments as she's gonna have to battle through these Lava Pups, all these Skeletons. The enemy King most likely gonna step up here. Another Rage Spell going down to keep her strong. Keep those healers healing her up. And here comes Wallbreakers Carbon to open up the next segment of this base. The Queen is gonna have access to the Eagle Artillery, the Town Hall, the enemy Queen but she has three bows firing on her right now. That is a lot of Expo, so Wade needs an 83% two-star to get the win for Nova. Can he do it here? The Dragons can get a ton of percentage. He's trying to keep this queen alive. Does still have her Royal Cloak. This is looking really good for Wade right now. Pops her Royal Cloak right there. Those bows are raining the damage on her. Expos are probably the biggest enemy of a Queen Walk. You get three Expos on her, and she is going to take huge damage. But those Dragons pushing through the top side, Stone Slammer, popping open with the balloons, but that Sweeper pushing back. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome to keep the Dragons up through the middle of the base. Still has a free spell. Tornado Trap going to hold everything up, but Carbon, this is looking really good for Nova. This is looking really solid for Wei right now with a ton of Dragons up 
and a free spell. Some balloons on the back end. It looks like Wei can clear the old right side here, and he's passing him just into the mid 70s. And this is looking really good for Nova. Can they grab this back end the air defense? And this is looking like a three star for the final attack of Nova. If he can clear the rest of these buildings with just about 45 seconds left here, Bash. Oh my goodness, Carbon. Saving the best for last, Way, the World Championship MVP, living up to the legend, coming in clutch, the final attack of this match for the three star, for the victory. Wow, what an impressive attack there from Way. What an unbelievable performance from Nova right there. When they were down on the percent, they didn't give up and they got the three star when they needed it right there to get the victory. Beautiful job. Congratulations to Nova advancing to take on 11 original in the grand finals. Nova wow. coming through clutch right at the end there. 11 stars to 10, just pipping WHF at the post. Congratulations to Nova. You will be moving through to the grand final to face off against 11 original. Wow, what a crazy war back and forth from both teams. That was so intense. The final attack deciding this war. Great sportsmanship from these two teams. You love to see that. Wow, incredible, Carbon. That was such a close war. It was swinging back and forth. We're taking a look at the final replay that got the three-star four-way. Beautiful queen charge right into the core of this base, and then dragons flew all the way down with a beautiful Grand War internal tome to get through all this. And the queen finished up the back end, the air defense over there on the right side there, Bash. Yeah, absolutely. Going for, he did that 83%, but going for the three star nonetheless, you, you don't want to just, you know, go for that 83%. You want to go for that huge victory and weigh the legend himself living up to the hype. I cannot believe that attack, Carbon. A queen walk dragon for the win. It was a beautiful attack when the pressure was on the line. He got it done for Nova, but now we have Barney on the, on the couch ready for the interview. Thanks very much, Carbon. I am joined by Wei, team captain for Nova. What an incredible performance. An extremely close match, though. Went right down to the wire. How did you find it? It, it, it was my uh, experience that let me uh, get this free start. You certainly showed that experience, being the last member to go into the final match. And you kept your composure, you got that win, it was great. You're going through to the grand finals. Other teams said that Queso were going to be the team to beat. So now that you're against 11 original, the tactics staying the same? 就是很多人说，呃，可能在九月赛可能会跟呃凯索呃对战。现在是对战Eleven，你们已经安排好了呃策略吗？对，我们准备好了。Yes, we are ready. Ready to stick stick it the same. That's good. I'm going to now throw you over to Judo at the Telestrator. End-to-end -end stuff, but we had Nova with the three stars right at the end, and let's show you how that one was done in a little bit more depth. We did see the Dragons used a couple of times earlier, not successfully, but this one gets it done. Uses the King to create the funnel down the left-hand side. Baby Dragon and the Balloons over to the right-hand side, or just the Balloons, sorry, allowing the Queen straight into this section. Now, that is a brilliant start because straight away he identified that two air defense can go down. Very key with dragons. You've got to keep them away from air defense, but also takes out the town hall as part of that. Now, as this attack moves on, you see how the pathing is created for dragons even more. A lava hound in the clan castle does aim to stall the queen for a little bit, and that is very much in the meta now to try and defend against these queen charge attacks. But the wall breakers are able to come straight in once this area goes down and use that in combination with the rage spells. Only one wall breaker is needed for a max level wall if a rage is used. So here they come and they're able to smash that wall to pieces, allowing the queen to come in to the left, to the right, and then he can shift his focus now towards the dragons. The only thing we have to worry about is over to this side if they were to come out of the base. Now that's where the stone slammer comes into play very quickly with the baby dragon. So we have the stone 
stone slammer to work its way to the south. The baby dragon aims to come down and help the dragons so they can fly right into the middle. Now, even if the archer queen did not take down the enemy archer queen, the dragons would have been able to get direct pathing to that queen and take her down anyway. Also, I want you to take notice of the Grand Warden's aura, every single dragon is within inside that. Now, when you are creating pathing for your dragons, you want to ensure that that path is thin enough to stay within that Grand Warden's aura. And coming down to the end of it, he's able to keep the Grand Warden with the dragons, help keep them alive as the Queen is then pushed back up to reinforce that push, helping them to get the three stars. Moving into the final, what an incredible one we are going to have, and we're going to get right into it. It's 11 original versus Nova. Lava Hounds, Baby Drag, Electro Dragon. Eh, dragon, Dragon Eléctrico y Baby Dragon. Los Bats. Healers, Dragons, Baby Dragons. Uh, Huo Long, Xiao Long, uh, Nei Long. Uh, Golem. Another one is a Valkyrie and Which? the Hawk Rider. Sabueso, Bruja y Esbirros. Golem, Minion and Hawk Rider. Yechu Qi Shi, Long Yan Lie Quan, Shitou Ren. Firecracker, uh, Cannon and Archer Tower. Cañón Doble, Giga Tesla y... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Cañón de Magma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Multi mortar. <laughs> Double <laughs> cannon. Shuang Guan Jianong Pao. Jian Ta. Nova Tribe Gaming Team Kessel. Uh, Nova, Sensu, and Tribe Gaming. Tribe Gaming Team Kessel, Queen Walkers. Team Kessel. Um, MCS. And uh, Treble Gaming. Oh, the Battle Blimp, the uh, Ground Siege Machine, Wall Wrecker, and the Wall Wrecker, and, and the Stone Slayer. Stone Slayer. And Destroza Muros, Arroja Piedras, and Dirigible Bellico. Battle Blimp, uh, Wall Wrecker, and Stone Slayer. Che Feitin, Da Qi Xiu. Their championship knowledge, flawless. Their builder base knowledge, not so much. <laughs> what an incredible two semi finals we have had, and we are now going through to the grand final. Boys, fill me in. What's oh, going on? This is going to be an epic game, game set of three here. We have 11 original taking on Nova. I cannot wait for this, Woody. Carbon, it's great to be back with you on the desk here, and I am so excited for this grand finals, this $60,000 winner take all best of three between 11 original, scoring 13 stars, a dominant win over Team Queso against the world championship team, Nova Maldo. Wow, unbelievable. We have Wei, that was the MVP, getting that final triple right there for Nova to help push them to this match. We're gonna have to get straight back into it because those two teams looked absolutely incredible and we're just going to keep the ball rolling because the finalists are getting prepared for the grand final. It is Nova taking on 11 original. We have 11 original and Nova. 11 original putting up 13 in that first war. Unbelievable so far. Can they repeat that performance here? Remember, it is a best of three, so if you lose the first war, you are not out of it. You still have a chance to make a comeback. Nova Esports struggled to find that three star, but managed to get it in the end. They have a history of having very tight wars up until the last attack where they come in clutch to get that victory. This being a best of three, there's a bit more wiggle room here for them to catch that stride, but it's gonna be a marathon, not a sprint. At least 10 attacks, maybe as many as 15. If 11 original can keep that 60% hit rate up, they're definitely gonna be moving on and claiming that big prize, the last Town Hall 12 championship. But Nova aren't gonna go down without a fight. They've got a title to defend here, Carbon Finn. Oh, exactly, Woody, they do. They're gonna try to charge in right here with this queen charge hog attack. 
the queen's going to be responsible to take out the enemy king. And then you see this wall wrecker, which is going to try to help get to this multi target inferno. I don't know what's in there. Out comes some balloons so that this queen can walk right to this town hall. And then you can try to take care of the CC. And we do have a skeleton spell for the enemy queen. Wall wrecker is a beefy boy, but he took a ton of damage on path to that multi target inferno. Got the job done, though, knocking down that key defensive structure. Unfortunately, though, XC is going to soak a couple of air bombs on his healers. Not what he was hoping to see this early in the raid. Knocks down the enemy clan castle with a poison spell, and the archer queen looking still quite healthy up on the top side. She'll be able to path along into the town hall to claim the first star and move on to the second part of this raid. It's going to be a P.E.K.K.A. protecting 28 hog riders. Yeah, he has the ability to have this queen step up and grab this town hall and continue all the way down to the bottom side of this base. A ton of value. And then we need to find a way to get these hogs down because he only has close about minute 40 left in the raid, which is not too much time to clean up a base. Archer Queen topped off, and here we go. The hog riders are riding. Grand Warden to protect them over on the top side. They do soak a giant bomb. That's going to be an early eternal tome to protect them as they move into a multi-target inferno. And so many expos firing away. Enemy Archer Queen's going to engage with them, but a skeleton spell to help boost their damage is going to protect them as they make their way to the first, the second multi-inferno. Only one more remains, and they're still looking strong. This is looking really strong here. Woody, the hogs are moving around. Find the tornado trap, but this queen is still alive on the top side. He only has this Tesla farm with a multi-target inferno. He's cheering. No was clapping here. They're looking like it's going to be a three-star. He needs the clean up down. He has some wizards over there with about a minute left. Woody, this is looking like a first attack, and it's going to be the three-star for Nova. XC barely got the two-star in his first attack, but this time has come over the top with overwhelming force. An amazing hit to start things off, and Nova is on the victory march. What a unbelievable attack to kick off this grand finals right here for the first war. Finishes it off with plenty of time left. XC gets the triple for Nova right there. Taking it off with a stellar performance, XC with Hog Riders. We've seen the air attacks usually do a little bit better uh, in this war so far, but this might be one of the the most dominant hits that we've seen in this Town Hall 12 Cup. Just a reminder that any given attack can get the triple if you've got the right plan. Exactly. It's now Vale's turn for 11 original. He did get that three star in the first war with the Electron into the Lalo. Is he going to stick to the air game or is he going to switch it up? Maybe go ground. He's going to try to come in onto Nova's base. We'll be curious to see what he has planned here for this base right here. Vale seems at ease. The semi-finalists working for Tribe Gaming is now back at home with 11 original, making another stab at glory. In the grand finals of this Town Hall 12 Cup, we're going to get a chance to see if he can strike twice for a triple. He's coming in with another Electrum, but this time taking one clone spell. He feels like he needs to take out this enemy queen, and when you're determining when to use the Electrum on a base, it's all about where the sweepers are pointing. And take a look inside that core. There is no sweeper pointing towards the top right of the base where that multi-target Inferno is, so he can send the Slammer or the Blimp in that area, and he can get a ton of value. Expect to see this hero dive take out that right side, top right air defense, and maybe uh, if they're able to dive in a bit further, crack open uh, a, a few compartments, they might get some more uh, power off there. I don't see any wall breakers uh, or any earthquake spells, so it's just going to be up to them to dish out as much damage as they can. Barbarian King's getting low, so that's going to be a big royal or, or iron fist ability, but unfortunately loses a lot of his barbs to a massive giant bomb there. Yeah, he loses the barbs there. Now pops the queen ability. Here comes the balloon trying to pull any sinking air mines, and here comes the stone slammer. He does find one, which is going to he help the health of the stone slammer, so he's going to take his time. But take a look at this. There is nothing that is going to be pushing the stone slammer back, just archers. And that one poison can easily clear them and get ready for the clone and the rage to try to take out this enemy queen in the core. So there might be a 
Uh, Lava Hound in that clan castle. Yep. If Volley manages to take it down early with this Electro Dragon, he's going to discount uh, and counterfeit a big portion of the defenses here. The Electro Dragon has locked on, and it looks like that CC is going to go down. A nice early stab at this base, finishing off the enemy Archer Queen as well. The Eagle Artillery is still standing. Could present a lot of trouble for these balloons if they clump up. Yeah, the Eagle Artillery not going down is a huge thing in an Electron attack. You need to take that Eagle down so that you have enough spell support around the rest of the base. Otherwise, what happens is you take so much fire from that eagle onto your troops that you're not able to kind of recover from that damage but he's trying to go through has some hay spells and freezes this one lava hound has almost about full health moving through this backside look at this the balloons are moving through but that he has to freeze that eagle to stop it from firing onto the balloons now Probably it's a 20-year-old German studying engineering and economics he's looking to build those bases up tall and tear them down and he's doing a great job with his second attack here and now falling up on that three-star performance. He's just taken a bit too many hits from this eagle and doesn't seem to have any way to finish it off. Grand Warden doing his best to protect these balloons, but they are being popped down bit by bit, and there's still quite a few defenses up on the backside. Pinching his brow, it looks like Vale doesn't have any other tricks up his sleeve, and he's going to be left short with just a two-star strike. Yeah, unfortunately, he's going to fall short there. That eagle did so much damage. He found that tornado trap, which stopped the balloons from taking that down, and they just spun around in the core. He's trying to grab as much percentage, but XC of Nova came in with the first attack against 11 original with that three star. So Nova has a great lead at the moment. That finished up with an 83% two star. XC kicking off Nova's attack with a Three star, 100% overall damage. What an absolutely incredible start for Nova. Can they keep it going through this best of three? Back to ND, the baby on the Nova Esports team. This Kazakh player is 19 years old and loves playing balloons. He said Archer Queen walks along the uh, exterior of the base are his favorite way to eliminate uh, air defenses that are positioned uh, at, at opposite sides, and he was hoping uh, to be able to have a chance to knock down Queso in the finals. That's his nemesis, but instead it's going to be going up against 11 Original, the team that took down Queso on 13 to 10 uh, star count. Yeah, now he's coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. He did a drag bat before, so he's sticking to the air game there. And the King's going to wrap around the 3 o'clock side to hopefully keep this Queen going for this air defense. There's the healers. Has one jump, but look at this. If he jumps into this right compartment, he can get another air defense, the multi, and that eagle artillery if the Queen walks up there. Expect to see that jump spell right in between that Wizard Tower and Archer Tower if he's planning on using uh, it for the Barbarian King. Looking still very healthy along the exterior uh, side of this base. The Archer Queen on her side is going to get the CC pull and is going to start firing away at this enemy Barbarian King. Poison spell to help keep her boosted up as the Raged Healers are doing their best to keep her topped off. She's taking a ton of damage now, taking fire as well from the Grand Warden and an Expo on the backside. That's going to force out another rate spell to keep her topped off. Yeah, that Barbarian King circling around the exterior, not getting a whole lot of work done, Carbon. That Warden does so much damage on defense. Those shots are devastating. He's trying to keep this queen alive. Looks like she actually goes back up oh, to the no. top side. That Lava Pup actually pulled her up there, still has her ability, so he can pop it to take out the Eagle and potentially enemy queen on this back side if she could survive oh. these shots here. So close, he oh. does manage to take out the enemy queen. Wastes a free spell, unfortunately, but that uh, Archer Queen has got a few uh -oh. more shots left. Can't she finish off oh. the eagle? No! The eagle is still soaring high! Eve, Kali's defenses get a big pickup in this attack. Oh my goodness, that was so close from going down. If he only saved that freeze from potentially the expo that was onto the queen, the queen could have survived and grabbed that eagle artillery. Could have been a huge difference in this raid. But now he has the balloons. Only one more haste spell left. The balloons come out of the stone slammer, dropping the haste. But look at this. There's two multis, there's the Eagle Artillery, there's so many defenses. They're gonna do so much damage on these balloons. Here. Seeking Airmine annihilates that Stone Slammer just as it passes over the first compartment. And with that, ND is left reeling. He's got a couple more balloons to get some more damage done, but that Eagle Artillery standing up through the entirety of the raid is definitely the MVP on defense. Kale breathes a sigh of relief as his base will barely stand up to this mighty force. Yeah, finishing into the mid. 90% range is still a really great attack. With the previous attack being that triple, 
Nova is looking in a great position right now, not only with the star advantage, but also with that percent lead there. Yeah, picking up a triple right off the bat with XC was a great way to start things off, and ND did not disappoint on his re uh, return. The two-star in the 90s is going to keep Nova sky high. Beautiful attack, unfortunately was not able to get that one, to get the eagle there, but it was still a great effort. Now, we're going to look to see if 11 Original can answer the call. Eve Timo is looking to come in. we would be curious of what he's going to come in with. His first attack was with that Sui Mass Hog Riders, but he did find that damaged CC of a dragon. I wonder if that's going to play an influence in the attack that he's going to do on this next base. Yeah, if it hadn't been for that dragon, Timo might have walked away with a three star on that very first attack. It's often just that one little unpredictable element about an enemy base that you have to make the right guess at. And if you don't, your attack falls apart. Exactly. And he's just coming in with another mass hog rider attack, but he has five wall breakers. Let's see where he's going to try to get some value. There's the wall breakers. And the beautiful thing is you don't need to drop a test wall breaker when the wall's on the complete outside. There can't be any small bombs there, Woody. Good read by Timo here, and he's going to continue his attack through this right compartment. He needs to take down that multi-target Inferno and preferably get some shots off of an enemy Archer Queen as well. A big bomb and a tornado trap going to drag all those barbs away. The first stage of this attack looking a bit uh, flat-footed. Nevertheless, getting rid of that tornado trap is going to give his Hawk Riders a bit more clearance as they make their way through the base. And another giant bomb going off as well. It's not all bad news for Timo, but this queen looking not too uh -oh. healthy. Need to pop her ability fast. Timo, oh, be careful. Oh, no. it looks like he didn't get into this next layer of walls here to get to the enemy queen because he might have dropped too many wall breakers, so he didn't have enough on the next layer. So the queen oh. does go down, but now he's going to have to try to adjust here. That town hall is going to be standing. He does actually have the Stone Slammer, which he can save for the town on the back end, but this is going to be a t very hard base to get through with this queen still standing in the it's court. It's a brutal early loss, Carbon. There is no way these Hawks have a chance up against the might of the Archer Queen popping away, even poisoned down. She can still dish out a ton of damage. Meanwhile, Eagle Artillery hammering away at these poor piggies, and as they cruise through the left side of the base, they're still facing down way too many defenses for them to surmount. Eve Timo holding on to that Stone Slammer will have an easy stab at that enemy Town Hall to claim the first star, but he's not even able to pass the 50% mark yet, and uh, with the cleanup along the outside, I don't even know if he's going to be able to reach 70%, Carbon. No, he, the Grand Warden's going to get stuck on this Lava Hound here. He needs to get to the 51% for the activate, and he does. Here comes the Stone Slammer, so he's going to try to get as much percentage, but not only is this going to be a pretty low percent, but they don't have the star advantage over Nova, so there's going to be after some great attacks we need and defenses from 11 original if they're going to have a chance to make this comeback in game one. Starting off on the wrong foot and unable to get the follow-up he needed, Eve Timo does claim the two-star. It's not the worst two-star hit that we've seen so far in this war series, but definitely not what 11 original was looking for here with a three-star deficit now uh, to Nova Esports. They're only going to pick up another two off this second attack. They had one of the highest hit rates in this war series so far, but haven't been able to keep up against the mighty defenses of Nova Maldo. Unfortunately, dropping the one star deficit to Nova. It is five stars to four right now, and that low percentage can't help 11 Originals' chances of taking home this first best of three match. It was a close call there. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get to the enemy queen for Eve Timo of 11 Original, but now looks like we have Nova. LP looks to be trying to answer the call. They kicked off this game one with the triple, and then they got into the 90% with a Queen Charge Lalo. So they are looking really good on the percentage game right now. And he's coming in with a Sui Lalo as well. He's got a couple skeleton spells to use over the enemy queen. LP is a 23-year-old student from uh, the Netherlands. The Dutch player has never had a time fail, so expect him to strike hard and fast. He was on the Nova Esports Championship team at the World Finals from ESL 1 in Hamburg and is going to look to follow up that performance with another deadly blow here to seal the victory in this first set against Eve Maxi, the defender for 11 Original. Yeah, Eve Maxi wants to try to prevent him from getting into this base. Has the nice Tesla farm here, but let's see if he has some small bombs. Let's keep our eye on. Nice use of the Tesla wall breaker. Here comes the rest of them. 
and he, he can get this queen into this section, which there's the air to, oh, out comes a Lava Hound, which is going to slow this queen up. Yeah, not what LP wanted to see. That is definitely going to slow things down. And even as she's taken fire from an archer tower, a wizard tower, and a cannon, going to force out that ability, but I'm not even sure if that's going to be enough. Drops the poison spell, and she starts to take some fire, uses her royal cloak to hide in the shadows, and that's going to be just barely enough to finish off these lava pups. Looks like one more left on the outside is going to die to the archers that remain. Doesn't look like he got the value he wanted from that queen, and there were that lava hound defended really well right there. So now he has the stone slammer that's going to move in, but... Hang on here, he can't even activate this Town Hall unless he does some damage to it with the pups from these Lava Hounds, which looks like he has a chance if they explode to help activate it. it looks like they get some damage on it. I don't see it yet. He does barely just get a hit off on it and activates it with the pup. That Town Hall activation means the balloons will path onto it, going to claim that first star easy peasy. Lemon Squeezy grabs an Eternal Tome as well to protect those balloons right on top. That Grand Warden doing his job, but falling a little bit behind. Haystell gets those balloons far ahead in this race, and the Grand Warden is not able to keep up pace. Yeah, looks like these balloons are pathing all weird around this base. We have the multi-target Infernos all up around and they're just gonna roast these balloons around. He has some a skeleton spell, but he knows at this point he's just gonna use it on the outside to try to help with some cleanup. He does over there at three o'clock on the right side, but unfortunately he doesn't have much cleanup left on the base. He's gonna be into the mid 60% range here, which is going to be a really good thing for 11 original because they still need an answer with a three star, and then that gives him a chance to catch up with percent. 11 original at a 10% average destruction deficit means that they really need to get some low uh, percentage defenses here against Nova, or they have to get at least two stars to pull back ahead. With only three attacks left, the pressure is really building up against them now. Just a tiny bit of wiggle room here thanks to uh, LP's hit. Still, in the mid-70s, Nova is very likely to have a higher average destruction percentage when all is said and done. This uh, last La Loon attack didn't go exactly according to plan, but still able to keep pace here uh, for his team. Yeah, unfortunately, he wanted to get a lot more value with that queen, but it's going to fall short there with a 77% two-star for LP coming in with that Sui Lalo. So now it comes down to 11 original. They're going to have to try to answer the call. They do have three more attacks. So they have plenty of chances here, Woody. Eve Kalle, the captain of 11 original. The 26-year-old German is the guy to make this sweep happen. He needs to come back hard and heavy if he's gonna give his team a shot at victory. He did pick up a three-star hit in the war against Team Queso. That mass dragon strike worked wonders for him. He also is very good with Hog Riders. This detailed planner knows his clan mates for so many years and relies on them for advice. Instead of either of those two attacks, so he's going to be bringing in the P.E.K.K.A. Smash, Carbon. Yeah, we're seeing a couple P.E.K.K.A. Smash attacks here, but where the problem has been is that multi-target Inferno. We saw the exact almost same attack here on the base. If they can get this multi-target Inferno, that's going to be huge. Keep our eye on when he decides to drop the P.E.K.K.A.s to pull this Grand Wooden off. He needs to drop a Rage to get through this section because time is a huge issue. Those healers are right in uh, the edge of the blade here, just out of that air defense range. Eve Kala going to take it down with this Warden Walk. Grand Warden has a little bit less DPS than the Archer Queen, actually a lot less, but a little bit greater range allows him to stab a bit deeper into the base uh, with the early stage of this attack. That's going to leave his Archer Queen up and ready to strike hard at a different corner of this base. Eve Kale going to follow up with this P.E.K.K.A. Smash, but he's already 45 seconds in. That jump spell is very crucial to ensure that his ground troops are able to hop over the walls uh, and get to where they need to go. Expect to see uh, the second stage starting up as soon as he takes out that multi-target Inferno, the key defense here uh, to worry about. Yep, the Grand Warden is now working on this multi-target Inferno. Can he get a few more shots? Oh, he has to take out these skellies just before he can take out the multi-target Inferno. And then here is the alley to get right into the core of this base. And now, once he takes his multi down, then this will not hit the healers. But here comes the P.E.K.K.A.s. Here comes the Grand Warden. He is now switching off to help provide Zump tanking and be able to provide the Grand War internal tome over the core. Let's see, the king is running around the outside, setting oh. the funnel. But now the queen is has to get stuck on this lava hound, but he was forced to pop that Grand War internal tome. A gnarly use of that Grand Warden. Uh 
Eternal Tim ability, you really wanted to wait until a bit later to pop that, but because he was so low on hit points, Ikala knew that he had to drop it just in time to save his big hero. He's charging right into the gut of this base, firing away with bowlers and smashing him with his P.E.K.K.A. army, but they're taking a ton of fire from these ground-based expos, stabbing away right into the heart of this army. The reinforcements were looking strong as they started to come in, but that Barbarian King not able to get the job done along the exterior of the base forces a Stone Slammer to finish off that Tesla farm on the left side. Eve Kale has used up almost all his spells now, just one haste left to try to make it through the backside of the space, but not looking very strong with still a lot of defensive structures up and standing. Yeah, still has a three air defense still on the board. This Grand Warden is working on the King here, but these healers are getting picked up, but he switches now to the air defense because the King got a little bit far there, drops the haste as these balloons split off. Now the Grand Warden might actually help with the balloons, but this King might do too much damage to the Warden and take him down, and he doesn't have any other cleanup other than one more wizard there. Groans and moans from 11 Original, their third attack here just falling short. Again, Eve Kale throws his head back in frustration. He took out all the uh, defenses along the interior of the base, but this bottom right side was just a bit too far for him to get to. And that often is one of the lower uh, strengths of that Pega Smash army, not able to get to the back side of the base. Eve Kale coming away with a 76% overall damage. Nova still leading with that one star lead. What are we yeah. thinking, Carbon? That triple in the very start for Nova is the difference maker right now. And can they answer and add another one to try to get that win for game number one? Because we do have a best of three match here for the grand finals. And we have $60,000 on the line for this. His name is a gruesome greeting for the 11 original defenders. Hai is up at bat. The 37-year-old Chinese player loves playing with balloons, and here he has brought them indeed. Riding and swimming are his favorite activities outside of the Clash universe, and he's going to be riding high if he manages to get another three stars to cement Nova's lead. Yeah, he's using the baby dragon and king to help set the funnel, but let's see, this king is actually going to walk all the way up, drops the wall breaker to test for some small bombs, and now he can pop the king ability to clear all of that, and then sui the queen to try to get, let's see, two air defenses and a multi, but we got to keep our eye on what potentially is inside of this clan castle. The Skeleton King Leoric, a grim reminder for defenders of just the mighty force that they're up against. High drops a free spell here to give those uh, wall breakers a crack at entering this base. They even managed to find a giant bomb. Good news for High as his heroes will get a little bit more insulation now uh, and protection to phase into the second part of this attack. The Lava Loon uh, won't get any Queen Walk support here, but knocking down a multi-target Inferno on the outside She's done uh, most of her work here, gets the CC pulled out and finishes off the air defense for a second big check off her list. Beautiful job of the, using that queen to get that second AD right there. So now he can fly around beautifully around and he has that earthquake to help activate the town hall. So here he goes, he's flying around, but he does also have the skeleton spell to take out the enemy queen. We have to see the path and how these balloons are gonna be moving through the base. Drops the freeze onto the multi, and he's gonna be moving his way through. Get ready for the Grand Warren Shell Tome over the town hall. He activates it with the, the earthquake right there. Can he get this Grand Warren to meet up with the balloons and take it down and get the value? There is the Warren ability. He takes down and gets the first star, Woody. Adds on that Eternal Tome, and with the Town Hall going down, he's just got to worry about that enemy Archer Queen. She's dishing out a ton of damage, but this company oh, yeah. owner from China is the big boss, and he's showing us now why he's got what it takes to get the victory. Drops the free spell there, and a skeleton spell as well to try to finish off the enemy yeah. Archer Queen, but it's not getting the job done. The Queen is standing on strong, and the skeletons spawning in the wrong compartment are not getting the stabs in there that High was hoping for. Yeah, he dropped the skeleton spell right on top of the Queen, but then she jumped to the other compartment, so the skeleton spell was pretty much rendered useless there, as they cannot get through the walls, because there's not too many of them with just that one spell. And he, now he's trying to grab percentage, so it's not too high of percent. 11 original still has a chance here. They in need of some three stars to help bring them back. High continues to hammer away at the base, drops the final troop of Baby Dragon, getting raged up on the bottom right side to finish off 
that elixir storage making her way uh, back into the center of the base but it looks like that's going to be the end of her run in enemy archer queen firing away uh, finishes her off the last poor little minion in the corner is about to get a unfortunate uh welcome from this eagle artillery oh ends the attack just soon enough to save the minion good for yeah you. unfortunately not going to be able to grab any more percent than that and he's going to try to think about what essentially went wrong well i mean unfortunately he didn't have the push the lava hounds went super far past these balloons and he just didn't have the tanking on the back end it was just so slow to try to fight through these sweepers right over the town hall as we're seeing as he pops the Grand War and Tome right there. That's a really good point there, Carbon. He did manage to knock down two air defenses, but having to push straight into air sweepers, you are working up against Gale Force winds. The double sweepers are gonna push those balloons back and slow, already slow troops down even more. Eve Maxi with the stab from behind earned three stars in the Team Queso matchup and now has got to get that triple up on board just to give his teammates a, a fighting chance. Uh, even with a triple right now, that would leave 11 original with a 63% average destruction facing off against Nova's 67%. They are mighty behind. Yeah, he's dropping now the queen and trying to use the queen to charge the Lalo. Let's see, he's actually had one jump to get this queen into the core. Nice use of the king on the left side to help set this funnel, because he can drop a jump to get this queen right into the multi-target inferno. That's what he's doing, but this Lava Hound is going to, looks like, pull the queen away from this angle. So oh. now the healers are getting hit, unfortunately, here. Excitement from the Nova squad as they see their plan coming into action. Defenses are going to hold off this early queen charge, and the multi-target Inferno is ripping apart these healers, just being burned up. up. Uh, tries to send in some balloons to protect and will use that free spell and barely manages to get three of them alive and out of there, but oh. an air bomb might be enough to finish them off. Now the queen is not even going into the town hall, lost all the healers because of that Lava Hound pulling the queen down to the bottom side. Still has her royal cloak. She's gonna pop it right there, but she can't reach the town hall, it looks like, unless Let's see, she's gonna go from this mine to the mortar and then over to the Archer Tower if she's able to target, but no, she does not go that direction. Sent in a balloon, he's gonna have to protect with the Stone Slammer to try to take that Town Hall down, but there is a Sweeper protecting the Town Hall here. No dice, Carbon. Time and time again, this early phase of the attack has been rebuffed and highest defenses are on a massive uh, victory right now. Can they hold off against Eve Maxi, who's looking likely to grab the two-star here, knocking down the town hall and moving in uh, to the left side of this base, but still has to face off against so much on the interior. And Archer Queen firing away, Eagle Artillery and multi-target Infernos all around. Oh my, Carbon, I don't know if he can do it. Yeah, there is just so much in the core. Now he's had to fight pretty much both sweepers through this direction. Balloons are getting pushed back. The Stone Slammer is getting pushed back here on the top side. There's the Tassel Farm, but unfortunately, he did not get that queen, and he wanted the queen to jump, grab the multi, the queen. That's so much value that the queen was not able to get because the Lava Hound pulled her the wrong direction, and then he had to react on the fly to try to save at least the two-star and get as much as percent as possible. It seems that the unstoppable force in 11 original has met the immovable object. Nova Esports' defenses are holding strong time and time again. This fourth attack now from 11 original unable to crack this nut. And it seems that Nova is going to be in a very advantageous position with only one attack left on either side. 11 original has got to hold uh, their breath and hope for an offensive fail uh, from their Nova opponents not very likely from the world champions. Eve Maxi only managing to come away with a 67% two star. Nova are starting to creep away with that percentage increase and also that additional star. But we got to remember that we are still in the early stages of this best of three. Yeah, now we have Wei, the final attacker for Nova. He's going to be coming in to see if he can add a triple. He got one in the first match in the semifinals. Can he answer again? He came in with kind of that queen charge dragon attack, but Wei was the MVP of the world championship. I mean, he can come in with any attack strategy.
the world's MVP, the captain of Nova Esports, one of the most diverse attackers in the game. He's also able to sleep anywhere, he says, so you don't even have to worry about jet lag. This guy is the one to beat for the 11 original squad, but with a star deficit and a mighty attacker coming up against them next, I gotta say, Eve has just probably got to be looking forward to set number two to make the comeback happen. Yeah, they're gonna hope for a very almost impossible defense here. They need to get that one star, but Wei knows they get that two, and that's pretty much gonna lock it up. But with higher percentage, let's see where this Grand Warden's gonna walk. The beautiful thing about using a Grand Warden to set the funnel is that, let's say he's going the wrong way. You can drop Pekkas and Bowlers, and then he'll start to switch off, and he'll go help, and he'll come back. If you were to drop a queen and she goes the wrong way, she's going to be lost and the raid is always going to be over unless you can react on the fly and save the attack. A two-star would indeed be enough to put Nova so far ahead that 11 original would not be able to make the comeback happen. With the one-star already on the board, Wei just needs that 50 percentage destruction and he'll claim victory for his team. That multi-target Inferno is in the core there. It's hitting the troops, but look at that. All the bowlers and Pekka's got wiped out so fast right there in the core. Unfortunately, the healer stayed pretty far back on the queen and that is one one of the reasons why you put in that Lava Hound to try to keep that queen far back and you don't get that protection onto the bowlers. But he's coming in with a back end Lalo. So it was kind of like a little bit of a push into this base. That queen is actually still alive here. Yeah, a bit atypical to see that Grand Warden right next to the Queen without too many troops to support. Instead, Wei has got kind of a three-stage attack here, and he's sending in uh, his final stab at this base. The Lava Hound popping now is going to mean that these balloons don't have much coverage, just a stone slam right out in front to protect them. But don't worry about it, because the two stars are already up on the board, and Nova has taken set number one in this first uh, best of three match against 11 original. Uh, they'll just need one more set after this to win the Town Hall 12 Cup Finals and the $60,000 prize that goes along with it. Yeah, we're still gonna be able to take a look at the last attack for 11 original. We're gonna wanna see what they come in with. The stars do not carry over, so as long as you win the war, then you just get that first set and it resets for game number two. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like Wei's going to be able to convert on here for the three star. He's gonna fall short. But that queen and the bowlers just unfortunately were not able to stay alive. The healers were way too far back on the queen and he lost the healing effect. The minions and the pups are trying with that wizard grab as much percentage as possible. Looks like this mortar might take off of this wizard, but he's trying to approach into the 80% here, Woody. Brought a kitchen sink to this base. Pekka, bowlers, lava hound, loons, and a queen walk. Uh, he had a very complicated strategy in mind and a lot of times it's those types of attacks that are able to grab three stars against a base that seems almost unbeatable this time way walking away with a two star 80 percent is good enough to get the victory in set number one nova looking strong now even though they just barely managed to defeat whf they're now far ahead of 11 original with the first set in their court yeah, that was a really good performance, especially ki kicking it off with that triple in the beginning for Nova. We're going to be taking a look at the final attacker, I think, I believe, 411 original. I don't know, we're actually taking a look at Wave's replay right here. We're going to see, well, let's keep an eye on these bowlers. How do they go down? There's the Grand Warden Tunnel Tome. A look at these healers. They stayed far back, and the Grand Warden kept these healers from going into the core, and that is how he lost all of that. The multis just roasted the bowlers right there. A quick wave from Wei as he sets his headphones back on. They're already working on set number two now. They've got their plan ready uh, to go into action. We just got one more attack from 11 Original to see uh, what they have to say in their defense. Flossie is the uh, fifth and final attacker. We'll get a chance uh, very shortly to watch his last hit for his team. We'll have to take a look. They're discussing right now. We have Nova kind of looking over this. I don't know, unless they are jumping straight into the next one. I don't know. We'll have to get confirmation on what the plan is here. But that was still unbelievable. Nova came so close right there in that first war against WHF and was not able uh, to get any more than just that one triple. But 11 Original got the 13. They kicked it off with three triples in their first matchup against Team Queso. 
but now they were unable to get the three stars there. Only one so far, so you know these defenses are getting better and better in these stages. They certainly are. 11 original had a great plan of attack against Nova here, but not able to get the three stars that they were looking for. Uh, I want to take a look real quick at the variety of attack strategies that we've seen developing from the semifinals and now moving into the finals. It seemed in the semis there were more of uh, the aerial attacks, those mass dragon Laloon hits gating the three stars. Uh, moving into the grand final stage now, though, I've seen QC hogs uh, and other ground-based hits, uh, lots of P.E.K.K.A. Smash as well, backing it up. Uh, what do you think is going through the minds of these players as they build their army comps uh, for these bases? So they are definitely have the army comps in mind that they know that what they want to come in with, but if in a situation occurs where they know they need to get a higher percent two-star, or if they have to go all out for a three-star, they could have two different plans in mind and have that army cooked up in the background to kind of get ready if they have to do that at a moment's notice. But we're taking a look now. We're jumping into the actually final attack here for 11 original. Eve Flossy is going to be coming in with this Sui Alalo. He does have the one skeleton spell. Let's see. The baby dragon and the king are going to set this funnel here. He's going to maybe try to get this queen to go for the town hall, but we do see we have the defending clan castle that is really close to this town hall, and out comes that lava hound. Pulling the CC as well, those archers are going to start firing away at the Barbarian King. He smashes through one of the archer towers, but he's not got much to say after that. A giant bomb explodes, taking out all the support Barbarians along with him, and that's going to be the end of his reign uh, through the bottom side of this base. Archer Queen not going to get any healers to support her either. This is going to be a Sui La Loon hit from Eve Flossie. Hits super hard, but without any Archer Queen support in the back, and you really got to get a quick strike and hope that those balloons can destroy uh, the key defenses. That's going to be the enemy Eagle Artillery, Multi-Target Infernos, and the Air Defenses. He's going to use four haste spells to keep them on path, going as fast as they can through this base, as well as three free spells to knock down those key defenses. Ooh. Archer Queen pops that ability, but can't she take down the Town Hall Carbon? Oh no, he found some skellies right there, and now she Ooh. doesn't have the ability. She's going to activate the Town Hall, but doesn't have a chance of taking the Town Hall down, but he does drop the Stone Slammer, which will then target the Town Hall, even though he could have activated it right there on this skip right there. And now here comes the Balloons. The Eagle is raining down onto the Lava Hounds. Balloons are flying around here, still has the Grand Warden, can drop the Rage right in the core, get ready for the Skeleton Spell. Beautiful use of the Warden Eternal Tome, but he drops a Freeze over on the right. He drops the Skeleton Spell right on top of the Queen, but this multi-target Inferno it's locking onto some of these skellies, but he needs to take this enemy queen down here, Woody. He throws down the multi inferno, but he didn't freeze the archer queen. And with that, she's going to start firing away at those guards that are spawning up from the skeleton spell. That's going to leave her with a few more shots left. It's looking awfully close, but I think that she's going to be finished off, Carbon. Yeah, the queen does go down just barely, but this multi target inferno is still up here as the balloons are going to be flying around. He really wants to use the stone slammer in a different spot on the base, but he had to send it for the town hall because the queen, unfortunately, was not able to take it down. The skellies and the traps just stopped the queen from taking that town hall down. Victory for Nova on the backs of ND, earning that three-star right off the bat with that Queen Charge Hog Rider hit. Nova Esports with a decisive lead on the percentage game as well means that 11 original is back to the drawing board for set number two. E. Flossie scores a two-star 74% with this Sui La Loon hit. Yeah, unfortunately not going to convert this one. And no three stars for 11 original in this game one of the finals right here. So that one is going to be going to Nova for game one. Nova takes home the first of the best of three matchups. Looking cool, calm, and collected throughout this match so far. What do we think? I think it's going to be very difficult for 11 Original to climb up the hill and defeat Nova Esports. The world champions have proven once again that they've got their uh, head on straight. And even though they've only scored a three star once in each of their two wars, 11 Original actually still has a higher hit rate than Nova Esports, having picked up 13 stars against Team Queso. They need to prove that they can do it not just against those cheesy foes, but against their Chinese competitors as well. Exactly. They're going to have to try to answer the call in game number two if they're going to have a chance. But we're taking a look at the replay of XC's attack, which helped get the triple in this war, which was the very first attack. The pressure was on the line, and he converted for Nova and helped secure this victory. 
beautiful attack right here to get it done and give Nova the win for game number one. That's right, Carbon. Our world champions are defending their title up on stage, but 11 originals say that gloves are coming off. The reverse sweep is going to happen now or never. Can they get the job done? We 11 original. The they are looking strong. The match is by no means over. Isn't that right, Carbon? Yeah, it is absolutely not over. They have a chance to make a comeback. That's why it's a best of three. We've seen it many times where a game two is won by the other opponents to force a game three. I definitely believe 11 original has what it takes. I gotta say, it's a bit more often that Nova is behind a little bit and then winds up pulling off the reverse sweep. The fact that they've picked up game number one in this best of three set bodes very well for them. I think that they're a team that has particularly strong lasting power and the fact that they only need to pick up one more set out of the next two strongly suggests to me that Nova's going to get the win. Okay, now we are going to head on over. It's Judo. Thank you. Nova getting the first round. XC right off the bat. We've seen him use Hog Riders in the World Championships. Clearly a master of it. So let's break it down for you. A couple of nice adaptions to this attack as well. Using the Queen to walk towards the Town Hall. And I love the use of the Wall Wrecker to come in towards the Multi. Opts for the Wrecker instead of the Slammer. Because if he were to use the Stone Slammer, he'd probably open up walls here and that would redirect his queen into the base. That's why the wizards were quickly used as well. This forces the queen towards the town hall. And what I really like about this attack as well is that XC notices this top area above the wall compartments is designed to trick the queen, send her over the top and around the town hall missing it. However, because that is successfully taken out, she is able to come straight to the town hall. King has taken out this entire side and although she gets stalled on a lava hound, it's really not that big of a deal. He's got the pathing set up beautifully for the hog riders. If we draw that for you now, you can notice where they will go, but he waits. Has to ensure the queen is going to get that second star, the town hall, before the deploying the hogs. So now they will come in towards the left-hand side. And I also love the use of the pecker, taking out a couple of the defenses, moving down this area, and that allows the hogs straight into the base. Uses the Grand Warden's ability nice and early because the eagle could only get that one shot. And into the center, this is where it gets interesting. The rage on top of the skellies. Hog riders already on the Inferno Tower means he doesn't have to worry about splash damage, taking out the skeleton spells. Moving to the back end of the base, one heal spell gets them through to the multi-inferno and he doesn't have to worry about any splash after that. Brilliant adaptions into a traditional Queen Charge Hog Rider in order to adapt it to the base, get the job done, and I will be very interested to see if they can continue their momentum moving into the next match, Barney. Thanks very much, Judo. What an incredible first match from Nova. Sneaking ahead, taking the first best of three. And what's going to happen when they come into the second match? It's all to play for still, but 11 Original really need to pull this one out of the bag. Yeah, 11 Original have to come through in game number two to force that final game three. But I mean, they definitely have what it takes to have players that have been on the World Championship stage before. So I believe they have a chance here, but it's going to be close. What do you think, Woody? I think 11 Original is the big question mark here. They're the team that is either able to pull off those incredible come from behind three star hits, or they just kind of fall apart as things get really tough. Nova seems to be the constant, steady 11 to 12 stars per war sort of team that will never give up an easy hit, but you really got to do a lot to pull ahead over the top of them. Indeed, 11 Original and Nova going head to head in this best of three grand final, but what do we think about the next attack? Who are we gonna who are we gonna see? I mean, get those hundred percent. I mean, I, we triples. might see eleven original. We could see Volley coming in to try to answer the call. He did it in the very first semifinals. Can he do it here in game number two? I don't know. Way has been so far the MVP helped push Nova into this finals match. So it could be anyone that steps up, but we're gonna have to see who's gonna take the risks. And XC just tearing through with that three star. I gotta say, he might be the guy to take a look at for Nova going forward. If he's able to keep up the pressure even this late into the game, we're really at the pinnacle of Town Hall 12 performance right now. They've had this 
same sort of army composition and metagame for a long time now. They've really been able to perfect those strategies, and we're finally going to see in the biggest, best, largest tournament at the end of the year now who is going to prove that they can claim victory. Well, the builds are prepped and the players are ready for round number two of the best of three grand final for $60,000. It's Nova and it's 11 original. Here we go. Nova is trying to win game number two and win $60,000. But it looks like for 11 original, Vale is going to be the first attacker, like I mentioned, to see if he can try to answer the call. He came in with two Electron attacks so far. Is he going to come in with another air attack? He's switching some of his spells up the last moment because he knows he needs to try to get that triple here. Grabbing a couple of clones. It looks like Electron is very likely uh, to come in Shortly, he's got uh, some rage spells and is training up the last bit of his troops. Gives us the wave as he's ready to start his wave of destruction through this base. Yeah, he is ready to hit this base here. He's got everything ready to go. And there he is. He's into the attack. And he doesn't actually know it has some oh. freeze spells there. That that clone, kind of, but the blue spell was yes. freeze, actually. It looks pretty close to the clone there. But now he's coming in with the Sui Lalo. And he has some wall breakers. And look at the wall design here. It's kind of a weird pathing. Let's see where these wall breaks decide to get and how much value the queen can grab. Nova is really well known for having super tricky bases to crack. This town hall seems to be pretty easy to grab just right on the exterior of the base without too many defenses protecting it, but it's actually relatively centrally positioned, making it a bit awkward for attackers to path their way into attack it. If you send in something that targets defensive buildings, it would go for the wizard tower first, then the air defense, and then kind of loop around the bottom right, uh, bottom left side. If you send in something toward the top, it would be very likely to miss, probably pull the CC out, and cause a whole lot of other troubles. That was a beautiful wall break right there. He didn't have to drop any test wall breakers because the king passed right through that area so it cleared any potential small bombs so that he, the queen can now step up and she is getting a ton of value. Took out that multi-target Inferno. Here comes the Lalo on the top side. Get ready. He needs to have the Stone Slammer for the town. Hopefully he does activate that Tornado Trap which is a big deal because then his balloons and anything else will not get slowed down. The queen is down for the count, and Vale has just got to rely on the rest of the Lava Loon hit to make this uh, base go down. Sends in the Stone Slammer, and that'll be enough to grab that Town Hall. He's getting awfully close to the three-star oh. on the backside here. He still has another air defense to finish off, but the uh, multi-target Infernos are done for. There's one Wizard Tower firing away, but it doesn't really seem to have a good, big, heavy clump uh, of troops to attack. The big thing that I'm still worried about, though, is this Archer Queen. Yeah. If there's still going to be any buildings near it at all, volley has got a lot to go up against. Unless these balloons take out the cannon and the mortar in time, then the, whatever's in the Stone Slammer will target the Queen next. This is looking pretty good because now the Queen's going to go down, and this looks like it's going to be a three-star for 11 original. What a way to answer the call. Oh, my goodness. Very rarely, if ever, do you see an Archer Queen survive finally see all the enemy dis uh, defenses go down and then have balloons finish her off. The positioning could not have been better by Vale, and wow, the 200 IQ play to get the Stone Slaver to path directly over her and then drop right when he was needing them most. 41 seconds left is plenty of time for cleanup, and 11 original are coming back in grand fashion here, scoring their first three-star hit against Nova Maldo. Absolutely needed that attack to get their triple to kick it off for 11 original. This is the first attack of game number two. We saw the first attack of game one start with a three, and that's exactly what's happening here for 11 original. Beautiful attack for the three-star right there for Vale. Very excited to see their teammate score that first three star, but behind in the set score 0 to 1, 11 Original is not ready to celebrate just yet. We'll take a quick look at the replay as the Stone Slammer destroys that Town Hall, grabs the second star, and moves in to finish off the enemy Archer Queen as well. That was the one thing that I was worried about with this raid. It seemed like he had a plan for the entirety of the base, but that Archer Queen on the backside, how did he know that he could use balloons to take her out? They almost always just target defenses, Carbon. Well, he did have a skeleton spell that was designed for the Queen, but she jumped the wall when she was locked on to the Grand Warden. So unfortunately, the Skellies were, could not take that Queen down. But now, we have XC who tripled 11 original the first time. Can he do it again here, Woody? 
Well, there's one more than one way to crack an egg, and there's more than one way to destroy a base. Vale found the right way to do it with his first hit, but XC has got the highest hit rate uh, for this Nova Esports squad. Can he follow it up with another three-star strike here against Eve Flossy? He's gonna be looking to come in with the Queen Charge. Lalo has a handful of wall breakers to charge into this multi-target Inferno and then jump in his way next into the section. But there's gonna be a ton of firepower right onto all of these troops here. And that Queen, get ready for the healers to come down and watch out for some seeking air mines in this area. That's gonna be an easy target against that multi. Uh, popping it down first is gonna give her access to the second level of walls in this base using that jump spell to get her deep into the action. XC is relying on this queen charge uh, heavily, spending a lot of spell uh, power on it to keep it going, but can he oh. keep her alive? Forced to drop that royal cloak just enough to survive, but now the eagle's firing away at the healers, Garvin. Yeah, that Grand Warden, the enemy king, the queen, some Ooh. expos. The healers are now down, but the enemy queen does not go down. She stays alive with a Lalo. That is going to be really a difficult at this point, but now he needs a Lalo on the top side. Save the two star to try to have a chance to at least get a little bit more percentage here. Yeah, that's very, very bad news for XT. Almost impossible to grab three when your opponent still has that Archer Queen and Eagle Artillery up. But hey, I've seen crazier comebacks happen in Clash of Clans. We'll see how he follows up now. It's going to be the Lava Hound out in front to try to protect for these balloons, but they move awfully slow, and there's only two haste spells to get them through the rest of this base. A multi-target Inferno on the backside going to get supported by air defenses and the Eagle Artillery. Hold on, though. Can this Eternal Tome protect the loons long enough oh. to finish off the defenses? Look at all these red air bombs right in the core of the base. The pups are actually working on the queen in the core. Looks like she's about to go down, but the balloons are just pathing all wrong here. Not going to be able to get to the multi-target to take it down. Eagle does go down so it won't fire any shots but wherever he drops his wizard the lava hound will follow so he has to be careful there there are some builder huts maybe you can one shot those and then the wizard will go down as he decides to drop it in the corner on the army camp so he can try to get as much percentage as possible with the cleanup around the base this is looking like a relatively uncharacteristic low overall damage hit from nova they had a much higher destruction average against 11 original in their first set, so they're gonna really have to lean on that three-star strike from someone else in this lineup if they're gonna be able to seal the deal uh, with the 2-0 victory that they really, really want here. Well, anybody for Nova can step up and get the triple at any time. Just depends on if some of their troops go exactly the plan or how they can react on the fly if, let's say, the queen goes the wrong way. So he has a few more minions of pop to grab as much percentage as possible. It looks like he's going to finish just around a 77% two-star right there for Nova. What an incredible start for Eleven Original. They come back swinging into the second match of the best of three with a three star, 100% overall damage. That's three to two. I gotta say hats off to XC for showing us a lot of uh, different skills using P.E.K.K.A. Smash, Queen Charge Hogs, and now Lava Loon. He can really play uh, any sort of attack strategy, running the gamut from ground to air, from big to heavy, uh, from very, you know, needling, precise at attacks to just overwhelming force. But it's going to be going back to 11 original now where Eve Timo has got another shot at that three-star strike. He used Mass Hogs in both of his first two attacks. He's going to stay on the ground this time with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash strategy. Yeah, he's coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, but he has some wall breakers which might just charge into the base so that he can double jump even further through the base. So get ready for a wall break right here on this right side where this archer tower is, finds a small bomb, and let's see, can he get a few more shots and make sure he opens it up and gets the bowlers moving right to the core. There's the P.E.K.K.A.s. Warden should follow up right here. Can he open the wall? It's looking pretty good. He does. And now the healers hopefully can transfer off his bowlers and keep them alive. Wallbreakers barely survived the firepower from that wizard tower, but barely is good enough this time for Eve Timo. He's going to be moving into the top right section of this base. The jump spell gets those Pekka's and bowlers heavy and hard onto the competition. Another jump spell as well right into the interior of the base. The CC's getting pulled out and the Arch Queen firing away. Drops uh, some additional spell support here, but he doesn't have uh, any, uh, uh, any other way to finish off those air units except for the Archer Queen firing away uh, high and up into the sky. Yeah, he's got a bunch of Pekka's and Bullers moving around this side to the multi-target Inferno. If this Queen looks like she was going to actually move to this multi-target on the backside, Stone Slammer can get a ton of value by freezing this Town Hall. If he can actually keep these healers and the Pekka's alive, 
and then he can get a ton of value. This might actually have a chance at a three star right here, Woody, if he can grab the queen, get everything on the outside around this edge, but the Stone Slammer does pop, uses the last free spell, but he has five more balloons here. Yeah, queen's looking strong in this. Pekka's are basically untouched. Look, still both above that 70% hit point area. Uh, oh, Eve Timo has a lot God. of work left to do on the exterior, but he's got a minute and 15 left to do and holding on to a couple of cleanup troops for the backside as well. This Archer Queen's getting massive value on the right side of the space. She'll be able to take down that uh, enemy cannon as well. I see only uh, five more defensive structures to finish off and a ton of balloons left to do it. It looks like 11 Original is on another three-star hit. The yeah. six-pack to start off this second set. What an attack there when they need it for the game two. 11 original is stepping up and now they're going two for two here. The first attack, Volley gets the triple and now Eve Timo is coming in with another triple of his own. Beautiful kind of P.E.K.K.A. smash and had the back end Stone Slammer right there. Wow, if you thought Nova Maldo was going to walk away with a victory, you have got another thing coming. 11 original showing up again. Maybe they prepared harder for this second set. They clearly uh, have had some overwhelming victories so far. I, I think that they they knew that they were going to have to fight at least two sets, so they studied all 15 bases, uh, but have certainly put a lot of work in on this second round. Absolutely. He was able to get a ton of value through this charge, and the Stone Slam and the Balloons just moved around the whole outside of the base right there. Indeed, next up to bat. He got a 94% two-star using Queen Charge Lalo in his last hit. Uh, he's an expert with this Archer Queen walk strategy, uh, but can he get the three-star falling just short uh, a couple times before? He's got 27 Hawk Riders this time, so it's gonna be all up to the ground base force to get the job done here. Finds a Tesla farm up in the top left corner, and that's actually good news for ND here. He'll pulverize those defenses early on and won't have to worry about his Hawks getting fried later. Exactly, using the King and the Pekka to help set the funnel on each side. Watch out for if the Ice Golems end up pulling the healers off of the Queen. He's getting a ton of value here. The Ice Golems are protecting this Queen through all of the Expos. And here comes the Archers and get ready for also a Lava Hound. So he needs to clear these defenses and get to this Queen. He doesn't actually have any Wall Breakers or a Jump Spell. So he's relying rely on this Queen to go through a Wall or he wanted the Stone Slammer to continue and get that second layer there. Looks like she will find her way onto that wall segment. Isn't gonna go for the intersection uh, there. Instead, it's gonna be popping down a little bit more toward that town hall. Another good uh, bit of news for ND. Now he's gonna drop the poison spell to finish off these pups on the exterior and uses a couple of archers as well to help with the cleanup there. The first stage of this attack has gone very well. He just needs to keep this archer queen alive, but she's taking a ton of oh. fire here now. Goes down, and that is the first bit of bad news for this attack still. He's done what he needed to accomplish in the first phase here, and we'll be moving in with the Hawk Riders heavy and fast uh, along probably the bottom left side of the space. Do you agree? Yeah, now he's waiting for the uh, Barbarians and any Wizards on the outside to help get percent, plus these Hogs will then take out the defenses and raise it up to 51%. Town Hall will activate, so then he can target it and lock up that second star right there. Uses the Freeze, needs to pop his Grand War Internal Tome for pretty much every single Hog right here to protect them. Beautiful Warden ability, but that Queen is still up in the core, and now he's just looking to get as much percent as possible here, Woody. Indy's looking to get a big chunk of that $60,000 prize pool to spend it on tuition. He's going to study at university soon, and he's got his education on his mind. In order to get there, though, he needs the three-star strike to pull Nova back ahead in this second set. That enemy Archer Queen is wrecking these poor yeah. hogs, and unfortunately for Indy, it seems like there's no way for him to finish her off. With that, Nova is going to have two attacks up on the board and just two stars from each one of them. 11 original looking dominant, Banks. What an absolutely incredible kickoff to the second match for 11 original. Two triples, two lots of 100% overall damage, and they are running away with the second match so far, Carbon. Yeah, 11 original is looking really good right now in game number two. Now the true question here, Woody, is would you have rather won game one or game two? Because if you win game two, that will be the momentum pushing into uh, potentially for game three, obviously, if you lost game number one. You would try to win both, but you could only win one of them. Look, I said it before, I think Nova Esports is the more consistent and reliable clan. They're much more likely to get that 11 or 12 star win. 11 or original, on the other hand, is the team that can either just outshine with an incredible, you know, three star smackdown or kind of fall short and doesn't manage to get any triple. That's what we saw in the first and second set anyways. And that's what it's looking like 
uh, to happen once again in this new war against Nova Esports. I think that the momentum is certainly going to be helpful for 11 Original, but if they were hoping to close the deal out with a two-set uh, victory, they're going to oh, have no. pit, uh, left to go on. Oh what my goodness, I just see the saw these healers just transfer off to the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, the Queen is not going to take the heal right there, and she's going to go down. Not going to get any of the value right there, so he's going to have to adjust on the fly here, Woody, because he has to somehow find a way to activate that Town Hall, but he does have the Stone Slammer. Yeah, and missing oh. out on that multi-target Inferno, and with still a ton of pups flying high, he's going to have to rely on this wizard to take them down. Not good news for him, especially because he was hoping to use that wizard for cleanup on the backside. Uh, wow, this P.E.K.K.A. is chopping through the bottom side of this base. Really going to help out a lot with the funneling, uh, but I don't know if that's going to be enough for Eve Kala to be able to get the three stars that he needs. He's got the Stone Slammer, so that's going to be a reliable way to grab that Town Hall once it gets activated, uh, but he has to get 51% in order to get that done. But he oh, does. Oh, actually, he's got another way to activate Yes, it, he right does there? have that Earthquake to activate the Town Hall as well, so he is safe to charge into the Town Hall with the Hog Riders because he'll have to drop the uh, Earthquake and make sure he activates a beautiful job right there. He's going to have to pop this Grand War Internal Tome with the Stone Slammer coming around the top side. Pops it. But unfortunately, he did not get any of the value on the right side where that multi-target Inferno and Expo compartment is. So look at this. He has the, the multi-target Expos, three Expos, the Queen, and even the next multi-target Inferno would have been a ton of value through that charge. But unfortunately, those healers went to the P.E.K.K.A. and he lost the ability to charge through that. Something I've noticed about the defensive positioning of these Urge Queens, they often have walls kind of surrounding all around them. That can make it really difficult to get a skeleton spell accurately uh, deployed on there. Instead, Eve Kala was hoping for his own Archer Queen to pierce into the root of this base, stab at the heart, and finish her off. Didn't happen. He's still going to be able to get the two stars, and 11 Original will have a comfortable lead uh, with a total of uh, eight stars over Nova's four from their first two attacks. Uh, but this was a, a, a little bit of a letdown. We're, we're, you know, climbing to the top of the mountain, and now we go down into the valley. Uh, it's all going to be whether Eve Kale and the rest of his teammates uh, can pick it back up again for the last two attacks to see if they'll claim victory in set number two. Yeah, exactly. We've talked about it before where it's the small things that make the difference. And it was probably because the P.E.K.K.A. was a little bit too close and it was tanking It was taking the damage while the Queen might not have been due to the free spell. So the healers just passed over the Queen, went to the P.E.K.K.A. and then ignored the Queen since the P.E.K.K.A. continued to take fire. And now Eve Kalialga finishes off with a 68% two-star, but 11 Original does have two triples still over Nova right now. 68% and those hogs were looking fine up until uh, they had to face off against an enemy Urger Queen and soak a ton of fire from that multi-target Inferno. Just goes to show that everything has to go right about these carefully planned three-star attempts in order to get that coveted triple. Town Hall 12 is no uh, easy game here to play right now, Carbon Finn, and we're seeing the best players in the world still come up short uh, uh, occasionally whenever they've failed to accurately plan for what's coming out of the CC, which way their queen's going to path. Just any small thing can be the doom of the raid. That's the big thing is you only have one try on each of these bases. You have no idea where the traps and what's inside this clan castle. That is a huge difference maker, especially in building your bases. They take that into account because if they knew where the traps were, then they could try to pick them off, protect the queen, protect the healers. But in this case, you can kind of put some troll Teslas in areas that you just don't expect, and that can completely change the attack and won't let them get that three star. LP is a balloon expert, and he's pulled off triples before. Nova needs him now to get another three star on the board. He's got an easy stab at this enemy town hall. He'll get the first star quick and without much trouble, but he's still got three multi-target infernos spread out along the 12 uh, 10 and 8 o'clock position on this base. That's going to be super difficult uh, to get the reach necessary to take down all three of them. He's only got one Lava Hound to protect the balloons on the backside, so expect to uh, see that Grand Warden positioned just so uh, to keep the balloons nice and safe behind enemy lines. Now, we've also got two haste spells and a couple of freezes, one heal spell to keep them topped off, but there's still a ton of defenses left, notably that enemy archer 
Uh, excuse me, any Eagle Artillery is still standing, Carbon. Yeah, now the Queen's going for the wall through to, towards the Eagle Artillery, but the King is also there, so the Queen will get slowed down quite a bit. Drops the balloons, but unfortunately doesn't pass to that Archer Tower, so he has to drop a few more there, and he has to pop the Grand War Internal Tome through some of these Eagle shots. There's a ton of multi-target Infernos back on the backside. The Queen burns her ability to get through the King. She can get still get a ton of value on this backside here, as long as these balloons can try to stay up here. No more spells for the balloons, so they're going to move slowly around this base, and it looks like they're getting picked off one by one here. If this Queen can still continue to get the value, Woody, he might have a chance, but he's got just under 50 seconds left. What seems like an avalanche of destruction sweeping through this base has turned out to be not much more than a little bit of a rock slide here, especially against the massive defense set up by Vale in the bottom left corner here. Mm. Multi-target Infernos burning apart those balloons and shredding these attackers to pieces. Above 91%, Nova is going to stay true to their high overall destruction average, but without the three-star that they really needed here, they would need back-to-back -back triple hits in order to even challenge 11 original support in set number two. Yeah, 11 Original is doing an amazing performance with game number two, getting the two triples back to back to kick this war off, meaning they have a great opportunity to win game two and force that third game. And that would mean that war is going to decide who has a chance at winning $60,000. A very small step back from 11 Original during their third match. However, they feel like they can probably secure this second match out after, yet again, another two-star from Nova. Two attackers remain for 11 Original, and let's see if Eve Flassi is gonna be the guy to grab victory. If he gets the three-star here, that would seal the deal for 11 Original, assuming that they don't have some sort of uh, bizarre attack fail with their fifth hit. He's gonna be bringing three Lava Hounds and 26 Balloons to this Sui La Loon strike. Expect to see him use those heroes right off the bat to try to clear off some air defenses along the right side of this base, then following up uh, with the Poison Spell and Skeleton Spell to try to clear out the enemy Archer Queen in the center. Yeah, using the King and the Queen on the top side, the Queen can technically walk inside the wall if he's able to time it just right, but I don't know, we find a Tesla Drop a Barbarian to kind of tank, but there is an Ice Golem. Let's see where this Queen's going to go. King's ability got a ton of value. Looks like this Queen is actually going to path her way towards this Town Hall. Woody, this is going to be a ton of value. Yeah, Wei has left a hole in this base. We've got to assume that that was an intentional uh, effort to funnel enemy troops right into that top uh, section of that compartment. e Flossy is going to get an easy Town Hall kill here uh, with the Archer Queen going in. Pops the ability at the last second there and uh, with the Ice Golem going off. She'll have a little bit more coverage here to oh. go into the second section of the space. We're seeing a ton of archers streaming out, though. No Lava Hound this oh. time. Instead, it's going to be the massive, mighty dragon flying in up top to protect this base for away. Yeah, he's switching it up with this dragon. And this is another time that he's finding the dragon inside the clan castle. But now he still has the poison. The, well, queen, the queen might survives. might be able to get a few shots on the dragon, which means that poison. More than a few. Look at that. The dragon does go down here. Dragon slaying Archer Queen will continue her reign of destruction in this base. The skeleton spell coming in to try to help stab away at the enemy uh, forces. The enemy Archer Queen's down, and that's a ton of balloons left. Drops to the heal spell, and he still has a haste and a freeze oh. to get these guys through. It looks like Eve Flossie might be on his way to a three star, but why didn't the Grand Warden we want to go in to help them out, Carbon? Oh, I don't know. He ended up staying with this Queen on the outside, but he's got the balloons. Beautiful use of the freeze there, and the Queen's going to walk around. The Grand Warden's flying. Let's see, we do have the clan castle into the core, but there's this air defense on the top side. Where are they going to go? Minions are going to help clear the core. As long as he can kill off this Genemy King here before he gets a shot off on the Queen. Ooh. Queen does go down, so it's going to come down to Ken, the Baby Dragon, and the Grand Warden finish off the rest of this base. A defense that is sometimes not any concern at all. This air defense on the top side could be the end of this raid. It's got that archer tower to protect it a little bit and it can dish oh. out massive damage to that air grant warden and the baby dragon. This looked like it could have very easily been the three star that E-Flossie was hoping for, but it might come up just a bit short. Grand Warden is going to get a bit of uh, protection from this air defense, staying just outside of its range. And he has one little archer over on the right uh -oh. side of the base to try to get a little bit of additional damage in. This is going to be so close, though, Carmen Finn. Either the 99% two star or the three star destruction. We'll find out very soon. Here he goes. The baby dragon's going to move his way slowly into here. Can this Grand Warden, can he do a tank a few shots with the puppet? It's looking pretty good. Oh, and there it is. It's a the base star. Not enough. 
Three stars for Flossie, the final nail in the coffin. Inova Esports cannot catch up in this second set. What an incredible second match of the best of three. Three triples for the third one coming through from Flossie. Nova must be absolutely riding right now. Look at that. The first war was, what, 10 to 11, and Nova got that, but now 11 Original has the three triples. They uh, repeated what they did in the semifinals, and this is only a game two, and they're wanting to force that game three because $60,000 is on the line for this competition. That's right, Carbon. Three three stars already, and they still have another round in the chamber. Yes. We're going to go back over to Nova Esports now, where their captain, Wei, is going to have a chance, or excuse me, High is going to have a chance to hit at this base. He's got an Archer Queen moving in with a Queen Walk over on the left side corner, following it up later on with two Lava Hounds and 25 Balloons, a big Balloon Parade, uh, storming it up top with four Haste Spells to keep them on target. Not going to bring the Skeleton Spell this time. That means that he needs to get his heroes into the interior of the space to finish off that enemy Archer Queen. Yeah, it looks like he finds a Tesla Farm with this King, finds a Giant Bomb, he's going to help clear this, drop some Wall Breakers to try to open up this wall. He does beautifully right here, so now the Queen can actually charge and gets the next compartment but oh, hang on here looks like the queen might be going the other way but we have a dragon and a baby dragon inside the defending clan castle he should be able to get through this with the charge pretty poison. easily there is the poison drops another rage and let's see the way where he's going to try to charge in one more wall breaker but there's the queen he can actually reach the queen here over the wall Arch Queen able to take down that Town Hall for the first star here. High is able to get that Queen into the big bottom left compartment. She'll soak that Giant Bomb without too much trouble and will continue firing away at these enemy defenses. Pops her Royal Cloak to finish off the enemy Queen. Can she get into that next compartment and take down that Eagle Artillery? That's the big question High is still left asking. He's got an Air Sweeper pushing back those healers, and that might be just enough to deny that Archer Queen access. Those healers are not going to be counterfeit out on the backside of the base without any ground troops to heal, while the main force of the attack is going to be Stone Slammer and Lava Hound bul bulking up in front to protect these balloons on the backside. Looks like he's not getting any push into the core of this base. These Expos are just, just going to push everything and pick them off. The off. Warden goes down oh. without using his Eternal Tome, and High is reeling from that loss. A big strategic error now is going to leave him without any way to get the three stars. Oh no, that Grand Warden, now the Sweepers are just going to push everything back in the core. Tries to drop a freeze onto the Eagle and the Sweeper. Tornado Trap in the core, but unfortunately, it's not going to be able to grab it. He tried to move his way in. That Queen went down. There was so much firepower on her in the core. And he, he didn't even have a wizard to potentially want to move the healers if the queen ended up dying off. Well, to borrow a Scottish proverb, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, and this time they certainly do for High, not able to use one of the most crucial offensive bonuses uh, for Town Hall 12. That Grand Warden's Eternal Tome went uh, wasted in this case. Nova with a two-star and uh, just in the middle 70 percentage here with their fourth attack are not going to be able to catch up to 11 original and we will almost certainly be going to the best of three tiebreaker set. Yeah, looking like it's going to go to a best of three. We still have the next attack. We're going to have to see what can they even add that next triple. Is it possible? We're going to have to take a look, but he's finishing off this attack right here. The archer's not going to be able to grab it with about 74% two-star. He's going to wrap it up there for Nova. High walking away with a 74% two-star. They are not able to catch up to 11 original now who are storming away with the match number two. So it is going to go to the third of the best of three, which is going to be super tense. I mean, I'm excited, guys. Are you excited? I'm really excited, but we still have another couple of attacks left in this set number two. 11 original might have lost their first set, but they have reclaimed their honor with so many triples and are going to have another chance to show what they've got. Eve Maxi, the 29-year-old German player who has said Eve is life, and that's a direct quote, knows that his teammates are family and wants to do them proud with this fifth hit for Eve. He's trying to come in with the Sui Mass Hog Riders. 45 hogs here. The Wall Wrecker's going to help lead the charge. He's going to see if he needs to drop a Lava uh, the Queen behind. Sees that there is the Lava Hound, so he's not going to end up actually doing that. There's a Raid Spell, but he doesn't activate the Town Hall. The Velcro were a little bit late. 
So that Town Hall looks to be staying up here, and he's gonna have to use the Queen somewhere else and have the town, the Hogs go for that Town Hall. Yeah, relatively atypical positioning for that uh, air defense on the exterior of the base there. Easy to grab with the Barbarian King and gonna be able to pull out that uh, Clan Castle as well. That Lava Hound is not gonna be too much trouble for these uh, Hog Riders. They deal a ton of damage to defensive structures and they'll ignore anything that soars high in the sky. It's actually gonna be to Eve Maxi's benefit if he does not pop that Lava Hound because then he wouldn't have to worry about the Lava Pups that come out afterwards. Exactly, and he still has this Queen. The not even dropping the queen is a huge uh, benefit here. He can also, okay, decide to use the queen for the town hall, get a ton of value that way, and here comes the hogs from the bottom side here. So now the hogs are moving in, but hopefully this Grand Warden does not stick to the king. He might be over there. I can't see. Let's see. The queen downside, and the queen actually takes out the town hall there. The uh, skellies are working on the enemy queen, but let's see. The Grand Warden, luckily, is now moving off the hogs. A skeleton spell to try to target that enemy Archer Queen, but Eve Maxi loses the queen of his own. Those Hog Riders are getting burned up by that multi-target Inferno farm over on the top right side of the base, but the Eternal Tome might be just enough to keep them on track here. We've got one more free spell. Expect to see that use on the backside multi-target Inferno. There it is, freezing a multi and an Archer Tower. That Tesla farm looking menacing from the backside, though. LP's defenses are barely hanging on by a thread. Can these Hogs make their way through the rest of the base, Carbon? He's moving his way through the Tesla farm, finding a bunch of spring traps and giant bombs with the skeletons. It's just oh, wrecking no! these hogs so much as they're moving right through. And he knows, unfortunately, he does at least get a high percent two star, and he's not going to get that triple. But 11 original coming in with three triples in this war is still an unbelievable performance. LP's defense is feasting on some baby back ribs as those hogs have been eliminated in classic fashion. That giant bomb is exactly what they do not want to find and right on the back side of the base where they almost had the three star also. LP's defenses hold up and Eve Maxi with a 92% two star has got just about all he needs to claim victory uh, for 11 original. No worries at all for his team, uh, but it could come down to him uh, for the clutch hit in the third set of this war. We still want to see three stars from him. Absolutely. We're taking a look at the replay where the queen used her ability onto the town hall and these skellies were placed beautifully to help take out the enemy queen. No multi-target infernos were in range so that they stayed alive and no splash also affected them. Plus a beautiful use of the Grand Warden as the hogs pretty much split in different directions is which is when you want to use that. But now we're taking a look at Wei, the captain of Nova. He's looking to try to add another three star for them even though he knows it is out of reach for game two, but which means we're going to be seeing a game three and you cannot ask for anything better than that. That's exactly right, Carbon, for the best, biggest, last final Town Hall 12 match of the year, this Town Hall 12 Cup with $60,000 riding on it. And it all goes to the winner. Yep. First place gets the entire loot bag. That has got to wow. be pretty nerve wracking to be in the finals and be so close to a massive victory, but also so close to just having won nothing at all. Exactly, that's what makes this very unique here. You Only the first place gets the prize pool there. And now we're gonna see if Nova or 11 Original are going to be taking that home with them. We're gonna see the Queens charging in and he does have 10 bowlers and some P.E.K.K.A.s to help maybe charge into the town hall section. But out comes a Dragon, Baby Dragon CC. So we should be able to get through this pretty quickly and easily here, Woody. Now, most players say that they love loons, hog riders, dragons, the heavy hitters in their army. Wei was actually the only player who said that healers are his favorite troop. In order to get maximum value with those guys, you really have to take them on a long walk through this base. This Archer Queen diving deep into the core now is going to get some massive value with these healers on the army, topping her off and keeping her well protected behind the Pekkas and the Bowlers. Now, unfortunately, the rest of that army is having a bit of difficulty uh, with so many Defense is firing away at them, but Wei still has got a shot at three stars here. If he can path this Stone Sandler onto that enemy multi. No, it's going the wrong way, Carbon. Well, he's moving right past it. He does actually have one more haste ball. The Queen's going to take this jump, and she's going to get a ton of value, including this multi-target Inferno action where the balloons are targeting to the Pekka's go down on the top side. The Queen still has her ability to pop it to try to protect some of these balloons. But That's massive. It looks like a lot of these balloons are dying off, but drops a haste to try to clear out the rest of this base. Can he get it with the queen? 
He's actually not that far away. He's passing now the 90% mark, and there's not very many defenses left to challenge this Archer Queen. An entire minute left for cleanup, and just a little bit of an annoyance here with the Skeletons popping out. It looks like Wei has actually done it, and will be able to claim the first three-star from this second set. Nova, in classic, standard, reliable, consistent fashion, has put another 11-star hit up on the board. You can definitely expect them to do the same thing again in the third set here. But will 11 Original be able to pull off that amazing upset, the reverse sweep uh, that seemed so far out of reach and is now just uh, within their grasp? Oh, we have to see. The Queen's going to have to go through two with different oh, layers no. of walls here. Come on, in about Queen. 20 seconds. Oh, boy. Can she make it through two layers here? I don't know. How many shots what? is it going to take that Archer Tower to take it down? This is, oh, 10 seconds. No, oh, someone needed to hold the door oh, open no. for her. Instead, she's going to get focused in on walls instead of moving to the outside of this base. And what seemed like an easy in the bag three star is going to be that classic two star 99% fail. 11 original coming back and tying this set up, Mr. Banks. Way almost walking away with a consolation prize of a three star at the end of match number two. But as you can hear, 11 original behind us cheering on. They have won match number two, so it's going to go down to the best of three. Exactly. It's going to be a best of three. We're looking at one of the three stars from 11 original, Eve Timo, using that P.E.K.K.A. smash beautifully to charge through the base. The Queen continued to go down in the Stone Slammer and using a couple more freezes instead of that Hay Spell because then he can freeze the Town Hall multiple times so that Stone Slammer stays alive. I really like the switch of taking an extra freeze instead of the haste to clear that left side so that the Queen, the Pekka's Bowlers can continue down where the jumps connect. It was a beautiful attack and it led to the, what, 13 stars, the three triples for 11 original in game number two. That's right, Carbon. Those healers have done an amazing bit of work for Way there. It seemed like he was about to claim the three star. Even though he didn't, the healers uh, kept that Archer Queen moving all throughout the base. If you thought that this match was going to be going uh, easy for one team or the other, <laughs> definitely have got a lot of action still left ahead of us. The 1-1 one, one draw right now means that we've got a little bit of a breakdown uh, to do here. I know our analyst, Judo Sloth, is going to be coming up to the desk shortly. He is indeed. I'm going to hand over now to the man himself, my fellow Brit. It's Judo to break down the match. 11 Original did what they needed to do, and Eve Timmel, you've just seen a sneak peek of that again with the Pekka Smash. This is one of the strongest attacks at Town Hall 12, so let's show you how to do it. And I love the adaptions here. Has the bowler on one side to help with the funnel, and the king on the other, which allows his warden to just slowly pick off this area. Remember, your Grand Warden is a ranged troop, so he will just stand in that one spot, and it makes it ideal for the Pekka to just draw him back across into this area. Now straight away you can see that the test wall breaker was brought in just to ensure that now the other three can drive their way in, get that initial compartment and look at the funnel straight away for the Pekka to come straight in. There's nowhere else for them to go but why this base is brilliant for the Pekka smash one jump spell and then two can provide access right the way through the base not just through the base but to each of the multi inferno towers as well whenever you can do that it means you can save onto your other spells so the rage spells can be used on top of the bowlers they can crush the inside of this base and it also means that because you have not used the wall wrecker you can come in with the slammer from the side beautiful use of that by eve Timo in this one and the thing that really turned it into a master class for me was the freeze spells which were used as the slammer came through but then also once your troops in the center have got into that area where the defenses are tanked on the back end you now have loons just to snipe them off just to help with the control of the troops help with the power getting through and in the end this one was very impressive getting the three star in style and it helped to force it into that final matchup sixty thousand dollars to the winner they will take it all. Let us know in chat who you are rooting for, but Barney, I know that you are going to be as excited as me for this next matchup.
That is right, Judo. Thanks so much for breaking down that match. This has been an incredible final so far, and it is indeed what we have come to expect in Professional Clash of Clans. What a tournament so far. We are going to be going to a map number three, Carbon. Talk me through it. Oh, coming down to a best of three is what well, you cannot, you want that in this type of competition. We're taking a look at the average destruction on our screen. Look at that. Volley, 411 original, 94.3 with eight stars. And then way up at seven with a 93% as well. Unbelievable so far. And really got to point out that 11 original has got players all across the board able to pull off that three star. The average destruction might have uh, been a bit higher for Nova, but the three stars are just seemingly without a, uh, you know, just, just beyond reach for them. Yeah. I'm guessing we're going to see another 11 or maybe even 12 star performance from Nova. It's all up to 11 original to keep that hit rate high and to score that 12 star threshold to put them ahead. The heavy hitters are playing their part. But only one team will win all the gold and all the glory. And it is time for the final match in the grand final. It's Nova up against 11 Original. Oh my goodness. Here we go. 11 Original and Nova, the final match. Everything comes down to this. You can't ask for anything better. We have XZ of Nova. He was the one that led off game number one with that triple. Can he give no the momentum back to Nova? Because it is clearly right now on 11 original side with those three triples from game number two. The last best chance to see Town Hall 12 pros in action. Nova Esports, the world champions from ESL 1 Hamburg, showing a bit of difficulty climbing ahead of 11 Original in that set number two. Meanwhile, on the other side, 11 Original, one of the oldest names in competitive Clash of Clans, having been the forerunners to both the Dark Looters and Tribe Gaming, have a stacked roster and are not going down without a fight. They are not indeed, and now XE is using this Grand Warden to help set this funnel here. The Grand Warden's gonna be able to reach over the wall, maybe try to grab the Wizard Tower. We're gonna have to see the angle that he wants to get, but he's at least gonna try to set this funnel, but then we can send then the Pekka's, the Bowlers, with two jump spells. The reason why he has two, because he needs to get to this Eel Artillery and the Queen, which gives him a ton of access through the core of the space. The Pekka's are down, the Queen is down. Here we go, he's charging his way in, pulls out the Archers and the Lava Hound, so the Queen's gonna get slowed up, but we need these healers to transfer off to the Bowlers, protects the healers through the Grand War and Channel Tome. It's looking pretty strong here, Woody. This is a huge punch right into the gut of this base. XC's forces are going in fast and hard, trying their best to eliminate those key defenses. The multi-target Inferno's going down, are giving him a great uh, opportunity to make their way into the second section of the space. Enemy Archer Queen has been finished off, and the enemy Barbarian King is done for too, but he doesn't have too many troops left in this army. A healthy Archer Queen on the backside of his own, being supported by healers, is going to be good uh, at making their way toward the backside, but with that Eagle Artillery still standing, I'm not uh, completely convinced that XC got the value that he needed out of that initial attack. Yeah, he's trying to have these balloons continue around. Finds the Tesla farm now. Unfortunately, these balloons are going to get picked off. The Queen is being stuck in the tornado trap, spinning the healers around, and he's going to try to get as much percentage. It's not looking too good right here for XC of Nova because it's a lower percent two-star. That eagle never end up going down. He just moved all the way around it, and these healers, fortunately, were not able to keep those bowlers alive. A few baby dragons here to grab percent. So that's going to help him quite a bit, but he drops a baby dragon into two Tesla's. Oh, because he wants a tank for that while balloons come in. Try to see if he can get those that value right there. I find it very curious that XC decided to bring so many troops for the cleanup here. I think that that might have left him with a little bit too little firepower in order to finish off uh, the main section of this base. With that Eagle Artillery still firing away, that was the key defense for E. Flossy that kept this base standing strong in the end. We've got another 30 seconds left for cleanup, and the healers are still doing their job, keeping these heroes uh, just barely alive as they continue to pummel away at this base. But a multi-target Inferno behind two layers of walls is going to be too far away for XC to reach, and 80... Uh, uh, mid 80 percentage is all we can expect from this P.E.K.K.A. Smash attack by XC. He was able to turn that around when things weren't looking the best into a mid 80 attack right here. So very solid attack, but 11 original has the next attack here. It's now game number three. There is so much on the line for every single one of these attacks here, Woody. Yeah. 
not just the glory of winning, but $12,000 per attack if you yeah. want to total it up for the entirety of that 60K prize pool. Nova Esports and Eleven Original uh, have both got their eyes on the prize right now. Nova seeking to solidify their claim to being the best clan in the world. They certainly have got the title right now for him having won Worlds at ESL 1 Hamburg, but Eleven Original looking for revenge, having exacted it already against Team Queso, and now looking uh, to pull ahead against Nova Esports. Will Vale be the guy to put them over the top right here and now? We'll have to see what he's coming in with. He's got Flossy kind of giving him spotters and making sure that he pops the Queen or Grand War and Eternal Tome just in case if he doesn't look and misses it. But now he has the Baby Dragons up at the top side at 12. Here is a wall breaker to test for the small bombs. Doesn't find any. So let's see, he has the Sui Lalo. Oh, and he finds a wall small bomb right there. But let's see, can this next wall breaker get in? And he does so. He's able to now charge his way in. So not too bad right here. But let's say, where is the clan castle? It's pretty far away from this town hall, meaning that he can reach the Town Hall and not have to deal with the CC at the moment. Vale certainly is a lover of Lalo and he's bringing it back in action again. A centrally located Archer Queen and Eagle Artillery right in the core of this base leaves way with some heavy defenses. Vale is hoping to get that Wall Wrecker into the middle right there and uses a Poison and Rage spell stacked Valkyries? on top. Are we going to see Valks? Let's see. They're going to come out. There are Valks coming out for the Queen, but the Queen jumps the wall. And unfortunately, he was looking for the Valks to clear that compartment where the Eagle was located, Woody. Not going to happen this time, and oh. Vale does not get value on that early hit. Soaking a big seeking air mine as well, and his Lava Hound, two of them, in fact, that's going to be a ton of damage uh, that he's forced to suffer early on in stage two of this attack. Now, the good news for him is that he actually has already taken down the enemy town hall. That means he just has to get as much percentage as possible, but it's not looking likely that three stars could be on the board anytime soon, Carmen. Yeah, that Queen doesn't have much health, though, as he's flying around. Now, the Queen is picking off the balloons, pops this Grand Warden. Oh, not a good Warden ability. No, he doesn't protect Only gets all like of them. three balloons. Yeah, he has one more haste spell left to drop to try to get as much percentage here. But with that queen not going down, Ouch. oh man, those Velks were gonna get a lot more value if that queen didn't jump over the wall due to like the king or or the troops that were on the outside. But it was looking pretty good. But with that queen staying alive, unfortunately, he didn't have a chance to fly through. Not going to happen this time. Now, Vale will be able to continue pushing uh, for that overall damage along the exterior of the space. There are quite a few juicy structures that he can take down that are undefended. That's going to get him maybe just approaching what uh, XT was able to grab. That 83% is the standard set by Nova so far. He doesn't have to worry about the Lava Hound there. It's not going to be able to target air troops, so he has a little bit of clearance left uh, to maybe creep up to that 80% threshold. But 11 Original is going to be just behind uh, the bar that Nova has set to stir things off with the second set, or third yeah. set, rather. It's going to be neck and neck here. Just a few percentage points is what's going to be the difference between 11 Original and Nova here in game number three. Drop some wall breakers, but they're not going to be able to grab anything. And there it is. Look at that, 82% two-star wow. for Vale. We are starting off this match number three as we mean to go on, which is almost neck and neck. So we are going to be taking this all the way down to the wire. It could be an incredible matchup. Let's just see. Woody, what do you think? Well, we've got ND coming up next. Haven't seen the three-star from him just yet. Uh, our player from Kazakhstan, the 19-year-old for Nova Esports, has got his debut on the big stage here and is looking to make a big splash. Uh, coming in next with a Sui Lalo hit. He picked up a 94% two-star with a Queen Charge Lalo earlier in the day, but with three Lava Hounds this time, expect to see him using a bigger force to face off against the spread out air defenses uh, of this base. We've got an Archer Queen right next to that Grand Warden and the Eagle Artillery in the core. Inti has brought a Stone Slammer, very reliable for taking down enemy town halls. Since it targets enemy defensive structures as well, he might make the more risky play and try to get uh, some additional value taking down those key defenses in the middle of the base, Carbon. Yeah, he uses this jump to get the queen into this compartment here where the enemy queen is located. That three ice bomb actually froze quite a bit here. Beautiful use of that. But is he going to have enough to get this queen to Ooh. pop onto the enemy queen? Takes down the wizard tower, has to drop the freeze onto the queen. Few more shots, oh. and she does go down. So it looks like he got a lot of value so far through that. 
Yeah, just barely, but hey, it's good enough for ND. The first stage of the attack has gone just according to plan. Sends in the Lava Hounds to protect these balloons as they make their way through the base. A freeze and a haste spell on the backside, encountering a couple of Teslas for a bit of a surprise here. Still, ND is on the path to victory. If he can keep these balloons high and dry, he's got that Town Hall on the backside, so this is definitely a bit of a risky uh, attack strategy here. Using the Stone Slammer to get the cleanup on the back end to provide a bit more tanking as these Lava Hounds are now down. Free spell on the interior to keep that Giga Tesla off of his balloons. Rage spell oh. at Grand Warden Eternal Tome. He might just have this one, Carbon. This is looking really good here. The balloon split in a perfect direction. Rage through one more haste. The Stone Slammer is still up. This is looking like a three oh. for ND. He had drops the haste on the bottom side. They're cheering for game number three when everything matters. Can Nova get this first three star of the final game here for the Town Hall 12 Cup? There it is is over a minute left for cleanup and ND is all smiles. 96% two star and he's grabbing even more percentage as these buildings go down bit by bit and there it is. All of that triple up on the board and Nova's second attack has come in clutch. What a beautiful attack right there. The Sui Lalo got it done. The queen got us so much value using one jump spell you got that enemy queen and the multi-target in front of him with like the expo there. But look at this warden ability through this rage. Takes out the town hall wow. beautifully. And then the stone slammer went down to the bottom side and then the haste helped grab everything. What a beautiful air attack right there. Incredible positioning with that Grand Warden. Things went just swimmingly for the first stage of that attack. Archer Queen exchanging uh, her life for that of the enemy Archer Queen, and then following up with a massive, overwhelming wave of destruction through the right side of that base. Eve Timo's got to be shaken in his boots, yeah. but can he bring him back to stomp on LP, the defender in this next attack? It's going to be a P.E.K.K.A. smash with a Queen Charge to add on to it. Two jump spells should give them uh, enough of clearance to make it to the back side of the base, but do they have the firepower necessary to rip through three spread out multi-target Infernos and an Archer Queen that's a bit further behind uh, enemy lines than Eve Timo may have hoped for? Yeah, we'll have to see what this Grand Warden can get. He's really hoping that he can move into that multi-target Inferno so they can walk his way towards the Town Hall and they're really in need of a three star at this point because Nova just answered one in the previous hit. I'm going to be curious to see where the Warden is going to path next. He used a beautiful Valkyrie to actually help take out the barracks so the Warden can slowly path his way towards the multi. You're going to have to drop a Rage because of this, st this storage is going to slow him down so much. You know, he's going to just be patient here. He's going to work on this multi, and it's all going to come down to time at the end of the raid, Woody. Most players from 11 Original said that Queso was their nemesis, but Eve Timo sat out. He said Nova Esports was the team that he wanted to beat with a three-star strike using Pekka Smash in his last set. He's looking to double up again in this set number three, the tiebreaker to pull ahead now. He needs that triple here and now, Carbon Finn. Yeah, he's going to try here. The Pekkas, the Bullers, the Queen are moving right into this Lava Hound and the Town Hall section. Beautiful use. This is why you want that town, that multi-target Inferno go down so that the healers or anything that passed by do not get hit by the Inferno beams. This is looking really strong right here. We have about a minute and 30 seconds left. Can he get the continued push through the core? He needs these healers to transfer off to the bowlers, but is that a heal spell in the core to help protect those bowlers? Beautiful use of that heal right there. A stroll through this base so far. Grand Warden, Eternal Tome, and a heal spell protecting the bowlers in the backside. It's just uh, not enough to finish off the rear remnants of this base. A Tesla farm popping up in the back is more bad news for Eve Timo. It seemed like he had a really good start off here, but uh, the match that burns fastest and brightest burns out the quickest as well. Eve Timo seems like he doesn't have anything left to deal with the bottom section of the space. Just those heroes uh, up on the top and the healers to try to keep them topped off, but not going to last for long with the air defense firing away at them. Another healer goes down and another healer goes down. Eve Timo is now in a lot of trouble. He might drop the stone slammer. Actually, no, he already dropped him from the top side to go for this multi-target inferno to angle inside this base here. He does have two freezes because then the queen can actually reach over, grab everything other than that back and multi-target inferno. Nice Still has the queen ability here. Hang on, let's see how much health does this P.E.K.K.A have. About half health here. This 
Stone Slammer is going to open up this whole compartment. There's about 20 seconds left, though, so he has to pop that Queen ability. Here comes some back end balloons, drops the freeze. There's going to be a ton of balloons that come out. This is going to be really close, Woody. This is getting razor close. 10 seconds left for Eve Team. Oh. He's got the firepower enough to take down this base, but does oh, he have man. enough time to do it? He's pulling back, and oh, it seems wow. like just short of the time he needed to finish things wow. off. The cleanup is not going to happen, and Nova stands strong on their defense. A two star, 97% for Eve. Such an unfortunate ending to that particular match. He just didn't have quite enough time to close it out. Such a shame. Nova just edging ahead with that triple. Yeah, that was still a really great percentage, but unfortunately, Nova has the three star, has the difference maker right there. And we talked about it. It was the Grand Warden slowly making his way to that multi-target Inferno. If he didn't, if he had dropped maybe a Rage a little bit earlier, he could have been able to drop the rest of the troops, but then he wouldn't have had that Rage for the rest of the attack. But now we have LP of Nova coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. Make a lot of good points there, Carbon Finn. And time is definitely not on your side when you are the attacker. You really want to take as much time as possible and be patient to let this Queen Charge get as much value as possible, but you know that when it finishes, you need to have enough space for the cleanup uh, on the other side of the base. LP now moving in with Lava Hound and Balloons is going to make use of this Queen, raging her up to get her into this Town Hall compartment, pulling out the Clan Castle as well. He'll use that Poison spell uh, to help clear out the pups uh, from this Lava Hound. What are we going to see in stage two of this attack, Carbon Finn? He doesn't have, he does actually have a jump spell, so he's going to probably jump right over this town hall, get to the queen, and then he can move his way into the next compartment here. I'm really curious to see where, but I think these healers might be in range of the town hall, so he might have to drop a jump, or not jump, but a free spell on the town hall to protect the healers. And they are in range, so there's the free spell. But Yikes. where is he going to go after this point? But it looks like the queen is slowly making her way in. He has to drop a second free spell on the town hall. That is something you don't want to try to do. You, want to, you need these freeze for like the queen in this court. Well, at least he's held onto the royal cloak for a little bit longer. He's going to be able to use it. What? Oh. No! LP misses the royal cloak ability. And with that, another multi-target Inferno and that air sweeper are going to stay up. Another big hero miss from Nova. Yeah. Very atypical to see this at such high level play. Still, they do have that star advantage in this matchup, and even if three stars is out of the question here, they have an advantage uh, in overall destruction, and LP is going to look to push that even further with a huge destruction wave coming in from the top left side. Yeah, he's trying to fly in with a Grand Warden right over because he knows that he doesn't have these healers. He could drop the wizard over at 3 o'clock to move the healers over the core of the base, but he's not doing it just yet because they could actually be tanking for the back end of the Lalo but it's one of those situations where you try to hang on to the queen ability for as late as possible to try to save it, but in this case, it was too late, and then the queen went down. Walking along the razor's edge, LP just barely a little bit too late on that queen ability. Might have been the difference between the two stars that he's earned and the three that he was hoping for. Nova Esports uh, will continue their lead right now, but with a mid-70s uh, overall damage, may be able to pull up into the 80s if he can take out a few more buildings. Uh, they certainly do not have a comfortable lead over 11 Original, a team that has shown time and time again that they can put up not one, not two, but three triple hits. Uh, for the hat trick in a war like this. Yes, after three wars for 11 original, they have 13 stars in two of them. Unbelievable performance so far. So if anyone can answer the call and make a comeback, 11 original is the clan to do it here. And they're going to try to get another triple. Eve Kalel is coming in, and he's going to try to answer the call because Nova is currently in the lead with that one triple. You got to assume that these 11 original guys are going to be able to put up at least another couple of three-star hits on the board. That means that Nova wants really hard uh, to get another three-star, at least one more, with their last two remaining attacks. But they're going to be on the defense this time in D, trying to hold off the massive force that Eve Kala has put in. Uh, he got a three-star in the semifinals against Team Queso, but was rebuffed in the last couple of wars against Nova Esports. Is this the time for Pekka Smash to finally deliver that crushing blow that they so desperately need. We'll have to see. Dropping the Queen here on the Wizard Tower, and he's going to try to potentially use a jump spell to jump into this compartment where the multi-target Inferno is. Let's see. He has a P.E.K.K.A. The King is setting the funnel over on the right, left side. 
And then here comes the bowlers right into this next section. And he might be just deciding to use, oh, the queen, the ability. Oh, she is so low. Whoa. Oh, she goes down. Oh. What is going on today, Carbon no, Finn? Just the... trying to keep that hero ability as long as possible yes. sometimes pays off huge and sometimes leaves you without any forces left to finish off this attack. Missing that Royal Cloak ability means that Eve Kale is going to be hard pressed to claim three stars in this attack. Still, he's charging in strong with that Grand Warden for supporting the P.E.K.K.A. Smash Charge and a Stone Slammer to back it up and claim the second star. One positive thing that you can take away from the Queen going down is that the Queen won't get uh, locked onto the Hound and meaning the healers will transfer off to the Pekka's and Bowlers. Okay. Normally what would happen is the healers would stay back on the Queen and then the Pekka's Bowlers would lose that healing effect. But this is looking not too bad here because the healers are on the Pekka's keeping them alive. But the problem is now the Lava Hound did pop and he's gonna have to deal with all that. It's gonna be really difficult. Drops a haste, has one more rage through this core here. Can he get through this base? The balloons are making their way through, but the healers are taking a lot of damage. It's not over yet here, Woody. I'm gonna shake the magic eight ball. This. It says outlook not so Wait good. A sec. Carbon we got a minute thing. left. He does have a lot of this. time left. This is looking at things oh, turned no. around, even though the queen went down. Those puffs don't look like they're going to be able to stop the P.E.K.K.A.s. There's so look at this. many of them. Wow. They can't get the damage out in time. They've yeah. taken down one P.E.K.K.A. Oh, my God. Balls left to stop Eve Kala. He missed the Queen ability, yes. but he still has enough firepower to finish off this base. Three stars is wow. going to put 11 original ahead now in this third and final decisive war. They were up against the ropes, but 11 original have come back swinging the first three star for them in this third match of the best of three. Three. What, what an, an incredible unbelievable performance. Unbelievable job. The queen, that's the thing is the queen went down and we've talked about it before. These healers transferring over to the P.E.K.K.A.s kept them alive. If the queen was still up, this could have actually failed. The queen going down might have been the reason why it three stars. So that might have been a tactical non-usage of that Maybe. queen ability if he needed the healers to transfer immediately. And in fact, it was the P.E.K.K.A.s at the very end that scored the victory for him exactly. without any more walls to have to tear down. The P.E.K.K.A.s were able to chop through those buildings like a hot knife through butter. Wow, unbelievable job that the queen, she, I mean, you'll have to ask him after the, after the fact that that was meant to leave the queen down because he saw maybe a lava hound coming out of the clan castle, but we'll have to see what Nova can do to answer the call because you're looking at the percentage right now, the exact same amount of attacks have been used and we have 11 original with the percentage advantage right now. A rare case since Nova is almost always ahead in percentage, even though they don't always claim those three stars. You'll remember uh, that they were able to pick up so many 90 plus percentage hits in their previous wars. Uh, just scoring that 11 star mark though means that they've got to pick it up and grab that 12th star this time or keep that percentage very, very high if they want to have a shot against 11 original. It's going to be up to high to try to get the job done. The La Loon expert is going to be moving in once again with a queen charge La Loon hit using the wall record oh. this time. The queen doesn't look like she's going in to follow this wall wrecker. She might go up to the storage. Uh -oh. This is not looking good, too good here. The queen is going to avoid down south, but the enemy queen might pull her. Oh, oh she does. Yes. Wow, we got a little bit lucky there. The enemy queen pulled her back into the base. And now well, he has a chance, he has the opportunity to recover from that. Pops down a huge number of really key defenses there. The Air Sweepers, Enemy Archer Queen, Grand Warden, Air Defenses all being eliminated with this early stab. He's invested a lot into this attack though and hasn't gotten rewarded uh, completely as quickly as he had hoped for. A lot of spells being used there. And yeah, the Archer Queen now being distracted by these enemy archers from the CC. I'm not even sure uh, how much longer she's got left to live, Carbon. Yeah, this Lava Hound's gonna slow her down quite a bit. She's gonna die off here, but that multi-target and the air defenses were just firing so much onto those healers. He lost them all, but now he's gonna be lolloing right around, kind of counterclockwise with the Grand Warden following towards this town hall. About 43%, he's trying to get to 51 to help activate that town hall. Get ready, he has two freeze, he has four haste spells to be moving through. Grand War Internal Tome has to be popped over the Town Hall, get ready for it, and then he's, they're gonna leave right past it. He's moving in, a few more balloons, but can he make it through this back end, Woody? 
the troops from these Chinese champions high from Nova Esports doing his best to stay on track here. Another set of multi-target Infernos on the back end are burning through these balloons. They're going to make their way into the first one, but the second one is caged up in the back and going to be really difficult to reach. The multi-target Infernos continue to fire away at the balloons on the approach. A Grand Warden to protect. One free spell and another haste for the last oh, back end of the space. I'm not even sure even if he kills these defenses, though, whether or not he'll be able to finish the cleanup, Carbon. He's going to come down with time. He's going to take out this multi-target Inferno. Then they're going to move off to the camp with about 30 seconds left. This King might be a distraction for the balloons. I don't think he's going to have the time for the cleanup, but it's going to be adding the percentage. They're going to get slowed down. 20 seconds left. This haste is going to help a little bit with the balloons. But look at that. It's going to come down to time, Woody. Time is running out, and I hear EVE players cheering in the background. They've lost all their defenses, but the clock is still ticking, and it looks like 11 Original will hang on by the skin of their teeth. Oh. High with the 95% two-star wow. is going to give Nova a shot at the tiebreaker if they can put up another three-star later on in this war. It's very oh. close on average destruction, Carbon. It is neck and neck. Now, this is game three. You guys do not want to go anywhere because we have the final few attacks, and the winning team is going to be getting $60,000. And second place, what do they get? Nothing. Oh, my goodness. They get a plane ticket back home if they're <laughs> lucky. The global champions, Nova Esports, in a neck and neck race against 11 Original, one of the underdogs in this Clash of Clans Town Hall 12 Cup, but now looking to strike at the heart of this empire and find a, a, a little bit of space to get in there for one more triple. Now we have E Velocity coming in with a Sui Lalo. Let's take a look at what's going to come out of this clan castle. Look at this beautiful bowler bounce onto the stores to take down that bomb tower right there so he can set a funnel. But I mean, he's going to have to find a way to try to maybe take out this town hall. This is an interesting layout where these uh, walls are located, but it is an opening, which means that the queen will step up, still has king ability. He's going to pop it here. Giant Bob, he's going to pop the king ability just barely. But these archers are going to be quite annoying, and he's going to have to get through them and then the town hall. Expert timing there to have as many barbarians survive that attack as oh. possible. He's going to move in with a poison spell to help tick away at this lava hound and finish off the pups and the archers on the back end. Yeah. Meanwhile, this archer queen looking still pretty healthy, only has one expo targeting onto her. She'll be able to fire away at these pups, and with that royal cloak, will finish them off handily. Two lava hounds, and here come the balloons along the outer edge of the map. A stone slipper to help protect them as well. We've already got the first star on E. Flossie's side. That means he just has to focus on tearing down these defenses. That eagle artillery and the multi target inferno in the backside are still the key structures he has to worry about, oh. and he has to get the position Warden, exactly Sinky correct. There's a, he has a beautiful spell. job. Oh my goodness, that Warden, that Sinky Airmine is flying over to the Warden right now. He's trying to fly through with, this, with the haste over on the right side. This Grand Warden is just flying in front of everything. Does he have the balloons moving over the core? The enemy queen looks to be down in the court. Woody, this has a really good chance if he's going to get through this last multi-target inferno. Flossy turns off his targeting computer and readies the proton torpedoes. He's in the final stretch oh of this my. attack. This aerial oh assault boy. is not going to go down this. without a fight. Still has an air Try defense to fire away at the backside of the base. The multi-target ah. inferno burning up his balloons, but they get the drop. What? The multi-target is down. Look at Flossy this. Is crying, hoping for beyond hope that he can keep his balloons on the path to victory. A minute left for cleanup, and it's all hugs. Nothing left to do but cross your fingers and pray. Unbelievable job by Eve Flossie getting that one done when the pressure is on the line. 4-11 original. Now all the pressure has been shifted over to Nova. They need to answer the call because they have used Four attacks, 11 original. This is their fourth attack, means they have one more attacker, and that's going to be Eve Maxi to close it out for 11 original. A three star puts 11 original far ahead in average destruction, and it will be a hard victory for Nova ahead. Yes. It is all hugs over at 11 original, but it is far from over as we have our final two contestants that are going to be going up against each other. Can Wei close this one out? That's the question. I mean, Wei, if anyone to believe in, he is the man. He was the MVP of the World Championship. I believe he can get it done, but that's going to put pressure back on to 11 original. We have to focus to see what he's going to come in with because he's tripled today as well, and I believe Wei can get it done here, Woody. 
A reliable attacker, Nova Esports, holding on to that uh, 11, potentially 12 star war now, consistent edge uh, over their opponents so far, but it seems like in the third and final set of this grand final tiebreaker, they're finally starting to fall behind. A 9 to 10 star deficit right now for Nova Esports and 4.8% average destruction across the entirety of the war. Wei needs an overwhelming three star strike here just to keep Nova in the action. Exactly, he's coming in with a queen charge hog attack. He's gonna try to have the stone slammer with the balloons, take out this multi-target inferno to protect these healers as the queen charges through. Just the archers comes out, meaning there's going to be a lava hound as well. Queen is under rage, sets a beautiful funnel on the left side to force the queen towards this town hall. He doesn't have any jumps or any, oh, it looks like there's a channel right down that base where the queen can actually uh. follow. And that's a good identification, meaning the hogs might come from the right side because that's where the eagle is looking. Wei has got a map in his mind and he is following it to a T, crossing off those uh, T's and dotting the I's as he gets every single little point of detail correct in this attack. Grabs a Seeking Air Mine with that balloon and the Coconut Loon going down is going to provide additional coverage uh, for those healers as they continue their way into the space. A poison spell to help perfect. Uh, prevent those Lava Hound pups from dealing too much damage to the Queen as the main stage of this attack is going off nice and early. Wei has got plenty of time for these Hawks to make their way through the base, but only one heal spell to keep them topped off after making uh, use of the first one here right next to that bomb tower. This is looking really good. The King ability taking out the enemy Queen. His Queen is actually still alive with this Grand War Internal Tome. Pops it right there as they're moving through some of the damage. Oh my goodness, look at that. He has a Rage, a Freeze, another heal spell as well in the bag. Way is going to be coming through for Nova, going to be able to help get this done. Can he do it? He has so many spells to be able to use for the back end here. Hammering away at those Inferno Towers. He's going to soak a big giant bomb, but that won't be enough to stop these Hog Riders. Finishing off the Tesla farm at the backside of the base. They still have one big uh, enemy to finish their reign through the, uh, their run through the backside here. A multi-target Inferno firing away at the Hogs and the Inferno Tower uh, is standing strong just a little bit longer. We've got 49 seconds left for cleanup and Wei actually still has the Archer Queen's Royal Cloak ability and another wizard to draw for cleanup here. It looks like three stars are gonna be an oh, easy yeah. claim for Wei and Nova is not finished just yet. This three star hit means that they'll have an average destruction that will pass up 11 original. 11 original will need a two star and at least 77% to be able to get the win in their last and final attack. Unbelievable job. Swags that queen ability there for Wei. And now we're going to come down to the final attack of the war, which is going to determine everything for $60,000. This is the moment that you want to watch Ken, Eve Maxi of 11 original do it. But we're looking at the replay that Wei just did coming in with the hogs, beautiful queen walk around the base and use the hogs to clear the other side here, Woody. Got to love it. And when Nova needed that 12th star, way delivered. Wow. The MVP for his team, the captain of this Nova Esports World Championship team has put the final punctuation mark on this Town Hall 12 Cup. 11 original with one attack left. Oh. Has got their final shot at glory unseating these world champions and proving that they're the best at Town Hall 12. They'll need a two star and 77% to edge ahead of their competitors. Oh my goodness, Eve Maxi, this is everything is on the line. The pressure, the, all the money for your team. He's coming in with the queen charge, Lalo. He has 18 balloons. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Has a wizard on the outside, gonna get picked off. That gold storage is going to get uh, targeted by the king. He's gonna walk towards six o'clock down here and he has a few wall breakers. Let's see the angle that the queen's going to decide to go. He needs to make sure this queen goes to the town hall. Then he can lalo around. Here out is a lava hound archer balloon CC. Should be able to get through it pretty quickly. And let's see where the queen's gonna go, Woody. This is not the time for a risky play at all. Eve Maxi just needs to secure that two star 77% to win it for his team. He's wow. gonna drop that poison spell to finish off the remainder of that lava hound push and will make his way toward that town hall very shortly. This archer queen gonna get support from a couple of wall breakers trying to crack into that interior compartment, looking around for a trap, uh, but not finding it on the first time. Yeah, these healers 
were getting hit right there by the multi. Now they're getting hit by the, the Town Hall, but the Wall Breakers are coming in. Look at that Wall Break right there. Now the Queen can move into the enemy Queen and help get a ton more value. Here comes the Stone Slammer on the bottom side, Woody. Maxi is doing everything right and is getting rewarded mightily for it. Eve Maxi oh charges into the core of this base. Stone Slammer dropping down to pieces left and right. That multi-target Inferno isn't going to be finished off easily, but he's still got plenty of fight left in him. Eve Maxi looking for that two-star. Only needs four more percentage to reach it. Wow, the balloons pop that Grand Warden Eternal Tome raging through the core. The Queen is tanking some of the Expo, even though it is on ground, so it won't do much. But the Grand Warden's flying through the top side. This is looking pretty strong. The Queen's staying alive. She might be going down to this Expo if she could go down, but the balloons are flying around. Hasten, the Grand Warden's helping. He's at about 70% here. He's got to try to get as much percent. He's trying to grab it. Look at this kid. 11 original win. The there he goes. Comes. Eve Maxi with maximum firepower. The two stars and past the 77% threshold. 11 original are your Town Hall 12 Cup champions. 11 oh. original with one of the most incredible performances in a final to date. They have solidified their name into the Clash of Clans history books. Carbon. <sighs> Oh. What an incredible performance. Unbelievable. I remember them saying they would jump on the desk if they won. And that's exactly <laughs> what they just did. Congratulations to 11 Original. Not only this group of five, but the rest of the clan, the whole team, all the work that went into an event just like this. Unbelievable performance. And there is your champion, $60,000 going to 11 Original. What an incredible performance. You see the team's handshaking right now, showing very good sportsmanship indeed. But what an incredible performance from 11 Original. They are your winners of the Town Hall 12 Cup. Woody, talk to me. Take one final Thank look you. at the replay from Eve Maxi, <laughs> sealing the deal and grabbing the victory that he so desperately wanted. The reverse sweep from 11 Original against the world champions. Nova will still hold that big title. They've earned the biggest prize in Clash of Clans history, and they've still got that big trophy, but their reign as undefeated champions has come to an end. 11 Original knocking that empire off their pedestal and proving that even with the last bit of strength that they had, it was just enough to edge ahead. Just barely unbelievable wars right there. And I was just, it was so amazing to be a part of that, to witness that life here. And I just couldn't have asked for anything better. Thank you so much, Carmen, for co-casting with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Absolutely. And thanks for the first time, as well as with our new caster, Clash Bashing. It Thanks has very been much for tuning in. We really enjoyed casting it here, Banks. It has been an amazing experience, and what a final we just had for the Town Hall 12 Cup. I have no words. That was one of the best performances I've ever seen in Clash of Clans. And to be honest, 11 Original, they definitely deserve all of the praise that they are going to get for this. So it is now time to introduce your Town Hall 12 Cup winners. It is 11 Original. Eve Maxi, come and join me over here. This big giant check for $60,000 is for 11 Original. Congratulations. Eve Maxi, what an amazing performance. How do you feel right now? Uh, I don't have words for how I feel. It's just amazing to uh, win here, uh, to take home the money, of course, but to be here with these guys uh, was, uh, was the nicest thing of all and it's been a huge challenge like all the teams here they were really really great they are not just great Clash of Clans players they are really really cool guys to hang out with I'm really looking forward to that later tonight <laughs> but like it's just been an amazing time so far and I think it's gonna be even more amazing throughout the next few days. Is there anything that you'd like to say to your fans who have been supporting you all throughout this year? Oh yes uh, definitely uh, I want to say thank you thank you very much for your uh, for your support through all the time and especially a big thank you to our clan members and our clan family members who've been supporting us like crazy uh, especially in the testing for this event the base building the testing they were so invested even they are not uh, going here the 11 original 
DL and Tribe family in Clash of Clans. It's just amazing. Thanks to you all. Thank you guys and thanks for the support. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Please everyone give it up one more time. It's 11 original, your winners. Thank you so much to all of the teams, all of the casters, all of the production for making Clash of Clans history this year. But we are not done yet because you are all invited to join us on Sunday for the update stream for Town Hall 13. We will see you there. Good night.